All right. We him. This is an attempt to collect a debt. All right. Let's look at Yah Yukonon. And he's going to have to take the brother and sister down, so y'all going to have to do y'all thing over there now, because y'all got to use the boy at some point in time, right? Again, for those that are watching in that don't know, for as long as we're able to do this, I don't know how long this one's going to roll, but we got it for a minute. Oh, we got another one? Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Y'all, Yukonon, chapter 6, <clears throat> verse 44. Listen to the book. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. Tell him what happened, son. And I will raise him up at the last day. All right. It Tell is him written. Ri- hold on, slow it down. It is written in the prophets. That's what I love. I love it. It's written in the prophets. Y'all know we used to say Nevim, Nevim, the Nevims, but then you got an E and an I. So all these different things we had to go back to correct. So just give it time. Some things we used to say the Nevim and the Kidavim. Possibly could be the word, but then the spell is a problem. The N-V, the N-I, all these different things become a problem. The kith of them, K-E-T-H. We have a K, we got a T, well, we got a cough, we got a, a toot, um, we got a mem, but we don't have the E, nor do we have the I. So a lot of these words, we can see how they'll come in and they'll introduce things, and that's how they wind up keeping us all. Um, I was talking with... Um, <clears throat> I don't know if the brothers or was I talking to the members last night. You know, the thing we always have to look at, the devil has always been, uh, always offered things similar to that are like the Allahim. Y'all know that? He always has something similar to, it'll have something in common. Um, on yesterday afternoon, um, after the Shabbat, we talked a little bit about the situation concerning the honey. Of course, it's in the Bible, the honey, eating the honey. But then they've done so many things with changing up things. Um, honey, we only simply because we ate honey, we always knew bees were unclean. We should have known bees were unclean anyway to eat or consume simply because they don't fit our the criteria and the dietary law. But it was the fact of eating the honey, which was something how they'll get you. They'll teach you one thing, but then something will come from it. And they'll just commonly put it in the book and make you think that it's a given. Just like we learned in the book of Matthew, y'all, how it was not originally given that Yahushua ever told Matthew to go and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now, if we had stayed with our law discipline, we wouldn't have believed it anyway, which I never did. I never baptized. No, that was something we never baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because our law clearly told us at the mouth of, we could find when Cuff, he baptized on the day of Feast of Weeks in the name you can see where Shaul, um, Shaul, who they call Paul, he baptized and commanded to be baptized in the name of Yahushua. But we never found what somebody told him to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And you have religions that's been established off of these premises of lies. Y'all got me? Because they'll ease things in. And if we unaware, and when they're the people that basically kind of hold some of our, our original writings, although some are damaged and believed to be burnt from the destruction of Jerusalem, they come along and they play games with us. I subscribe to the Jer- Jerusalem Post, the Israel News. You look at these people sitting here with our writings. Why would you be using Jerusalem Post? Why would you have it? But when you, when you watch them write in the modern, they clearly write it in our ancient. And they'll clearly write it in our alphabet. They don't write Jerusalem because they know there's not a J. What sense would they make this here, the sign saying, welcome to Jerusalem, when there's no J? There's no E. They know this, but they put it there so they can make fools of us. We'll just consciously start to follow. You know how many people sat and follow and put things after these people versus going after what's written? But then you got to look at the whole psychosis of what they've done. We've gotten a book that they've given us from slavery. Again, you know, you got to revert back to what, how things have been done. You've taken a people from their land. You put them in another place. It only made sense to not let them bring their religion. Y'all got that? It made sense to give them a religion, give them a God, and give them a language. So at that point, you deplete them from what they had originally. When Nakam Yah, in the 13th chapter of the book of Nakam Yah, when he found out that the children of Yashraal, that we couldn't even speak Hebrew. He said, we spoke in the language of the other people. 
He said he started pronouncing curses upon us. Then he said he started to smoke some of us because we had lost our ancient writings. We had learned our ancient speech. That's what we're trying to recover now. So when you say these names, yeah, come on, listen. Feast of Trumpet. Can y'all say Feast of Trumpet? Look how that just roll off your lip. But now you got to figure this. Uh, uh, one, uh, that's how they got us. They programmed to say their words, become um, more accustomed to their writings and their language. So now when you look at this, this actually just looks crazy. It really, it really just looks crazy. We'll show you that what he's done to us is still working. You know what I'm saying? And now when you try to go and you actually try to introduce this and you start speaking in front of your captives, they're looking at you. They're looking at you because nobody else around talks like that. I ain't, go talk that and tell it to your master. See what he tell you. Never heard nobody talk like that before. First time I ever heard it. They know. They know exactly what to keep us away from. They are part of the system that actually put those people over in that land. Listen, before we get started. Well, we already started, but talk with y'all. So y'all going to need to stay up since we kind of talking about them. Um... Mm-hmm. Second, Malakim, Malakim. Which would be Beth. Beth is the second. Alpha, uh, Aleph is the first. So the second Malakim, which they will have as Second Kings, chapter seventeen. Give me about verse, uh, verse 20. We'll read now. Cause I, I, and I mentioned to the people before how whatever's happened one time doesn't happen before. It, it, whenever you find that something's happened, it's happened before. People just don't pay attention to it. It's happened before. You just missed it. Ain't that right? A lot of stuff we missed. I told everybody, we laughed real good in here on um, Shabbat night. Y'all remember that? Who remember what we were laughing about? About me fighting South Sissies and all this stuff. One of these sissies going to start raping y'all. Yep. Just, just happens last night an article popped up that men are being raped on the street. Just so happened the article come out that they're raping men on the street. This is becoming common now. They said this is a new fad now of them raping men. You do know these are homosexual men kidnapping men and raping them. And they're saying that men are afraid to report it. Oh, they laugh at me, though. They laugh at me. Yeah, he's so crazy talking about beating off some sissy. You'll see how crazy I am when they try to get this him. This is a treasure box. You ain't getting this one. We're not finna open up this treasure box right here. The only thing you don't get out here is some turd and some poop. Ain't nothing going in here. I'm telling y'all now, it is. But I'm telling y'all, I be telling these folks, and a lot of them got in here last night. Y'all, I was so proud of y'all last night. The members got in there and worked down, and some of them went in. I heard some of them complain, Brother Lane Castle, CJ. Some of them got in there breathing hard, laying on the wall, and they want them hard to work too much. But y'all know why we got to get in shape. That's for everybody. I'm talking, especially big ones, because y'all have this habit of when you're big, you don't know you slide out. You smile. You heard them folks say, you got a cute smile. And they're coming from the back. It's attracting these people. I told y'all before, they'd be laughing at me. But every time I tell them something, though, it wind up coming up, didn't it? Can you imagine seven guys raping you? You done. I ain't gonna let you come back in here. You can't be in the no four. You ain't been with seven men. <laughs> Just looking like, what? You better keep it back. Everybody. That's crazy. Man, we can't get this up. Y'all hear me? Amen. Well, that song Brandon got me in the fight of my life. I couldn't make you talking about, but you know, this is the thing though. We we become um, accepted of society, and we sat back and we lay back and allow these people to do, and we don't stand up, and that's the problem. These people are comfortable around. I tell you, I don't want no sister comfortable around me. I can get ways around. He gonna know. You ain't gonna be comfortable around me with that fool. Be comfortable. I would a man. I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, you got rights. I got one now. I got a right and a done left. Right. And we even be having no funny conversation. Right. Somebody walk up and hear me I'm talking about who he been with that. They thought, I heard him and Tony talking. That's a lie from hell. Right. Ain't that right? These people got, I got right too. I don't want to hear that mess. That's right. I don't want to be in no cubicle. You're the time of co Bush. Listen, this ain't no, I don't want to hear it. Right. And you know what bad? The white Christians are going, they had a judge that got arrested too. That wouldn't get them license. 
That, that white woman wasn't the only one. These folk, Pentecostal Christian, and they got more ethics than we do. Tell me up front, you ain't having that conversation with me about no having no sex with another man. I don't want to hear about it. Right. Y'all hear me? I'm gonna, every time I'm going to report you. I said, I don't, have, I don't talk to you about having sex with my wife. I don't hear about you and no other man having no sex. Keep your mouth shut. Yep. Every time I do something offends me, I'm going to report you every time. Because they're going to beat you to the point. Anytime you do any little thing, you getting rolled up, they're going to get pulled. You ain't going to have some sensitivity class. We're going to have one about them. Yeah. So I don't want no sex. We need a toughen up class. Yeah. Right. You ain't having sex with another man. You soft. Yeah. That's something a woman ought to be doing. So I'm telling y'all now, it looks bad that these people willing to go to jail. This woman here, elected official, she look at having something criminal on her record, not being able to hold down a job and take care of her four kids. But yet she went and took that and she sat in jail. Till some people stood up and stood in her defense and they wound up releasing her. Now we sit up here with the only Allahim whom they call God. And why are we so afraid of these people? These people, this a sitting judge, an elected official. You talking about you a judge, you've been incarcerated. Your career pretty much over. Especially you've gone against something that's already been legislated by judges. When the Supreme Court passed the, passed the ruling down, that's it. Your job is to enforce whatever come down. Whatever legislator sat down, you sat at the judicial branch. You have an executive branch, legislative branch, and you have a judicial branch. The judicial branch is going to be from your judge down to your police officer. Their job is only to enforce the law, to interpret what law already been established and for them to go out and enforce the law. That's their only job. So when you sit up and you say, I don't care what law they made, I don't agree with it, they ain't giving it to you. That looks bad on us. Christian beating us to the punt. We sit up trying to figure, the Lord don't want me to be stupid. No, the Lord told us we're supposed to stand up. Before you get started, yes, you got me second. Um, he got me Malachim, Malachim, Beth, which is 2 Kings chapter 17. I told him about verse 20, 26 come to mind. Get me the book of Dan E. All. Dan E. All, chapter goodness, 11. Give me about verse 30. Hold it. Let's get that right quick. Dan E. All. Dan E. All, chapter 11, about verse 30. Listen. For the ships of Shittim shall come against them. Therefore, what we talked about Shittim was? Over in Cyber, that's over in Europe. These ships, he's talking about these ships are coming out of Europe. Tell me these white people sitting over there now ever left there in a ship going to Europe. No white people that sit in Germany and Russia claiming they Jews, ask them, how did you get there? They were born there. They always been there. They all got the lie or they were supposed to be the original people. They can't ever confirm how they ever got there. I ain't never heard that story. Oh, I seen the Holocaust. I heard them talk about all this, showing me the little number they done went tattooed on it. I you go get anything tattooed on you. I don't know why people believe something because it tattooed on your wrist. You got four got tattoos on their eye. Nigga ain't never been to prison. So you want me to believe because you got some numbers on your wrist. All of a sudden, anything you need six 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 on that wrist. But now we sitting around, we looking how they tell us the story of how they were the people and they were need to come back to their home. And Russia got sent a Jew home. I said, send them straight to hell for impersonation. Greatest crimes ever been committed. These people have been major players in the transformation of us being taken out and our identity being changed. They have been the major player. We, we be talking to white people, the white people of Europe. They're the white people from Europe. They had to be a part of it because you've taken on our identity. The rest of the people had not taken on our identity. These people took it on our identity. They stole and hid our language. But anyway, why they never showed up no movie how they got them? You're exactly right. You, anybody ever seen that movie? Nope. Anybody read that book where they tell you how they wind up getting out of them? There's always a story of how they need to get back. How you get back somewhere you ain't never been. Mm. When we read our book, when they tell us about um, Yahushua, it told us that the same one that came down, it's the same one that going up, it's the same one that came down. Let you know he came down from Shamaim. That's why he's going back the way he came. Now you're telling me you're going back to Yashriel. Where did you come from? Y'all all right? All right, come on, let's see what happened. This so, is Daniel chapter 11. What we say, verse 31 now? Verse 30. Listen. 
For the ships of Shittim shall come against him. Yes. Therefore he shall be grieved and return and have indignation against the Kadash covenant. Y'all hear what they don't have? He got indignation against the Kadash covenant. So come shall on. he do. He shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the Kadash covenant. Y'all see what they got? Who you think they're going to sit down and they're going to communicate and work with? The people that forsake it. That's why they want to work with Iran and all other people. They'll work with everybody else but us. Listen. And arms shall stand on his part. Yes. And they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength. Y'all see that? Pollute. Y'all see what happened too over, in, uh, over on the Temple Mount over there in the mosque? They just had some fireworks go off over there. They had a crane fall down. Kill about a hundred and some people, Dave. Over in a mosque that happened to be sitting in Jerusalem. I wonder why that could have happened. A crane just happened to kill them and injure about another 200 of them. A mosque in Jerusalem. Do you actually think these people are who they're supposed to be? You let them put a mosque down. I was so happy. Then they had a little gun play in there too. Had a little shooting in there. I said, you can't help but but they said this most third important mosque that they got. I'm so sad. See, what we won't do, the most I'm going to tear it down for it. Mm. Truth be told, we got enough people against us. He know we ain't in no position to stand. We ain't in no position to stand and do now. I mean, we too weak to do something over here. What are we going to do over there? Yeah. What are we going to do over there? We're going to cut deals with everybody. What are we going to do we go over there? Listen. And shall take away the daily sacrifice. They're going to take away the daily sacrifice. And they shall place the abomination that make it desolate. They're going to take it. That's what they don't put down. They took it. They don't put it. They don't replace it with the abomination that does what? That make it desolate. And you know what happened? It's amazing in these churches, all these little statues of little Jesus that got on these crosses are gold. We want a golden cat before. He's also referred to as the heifer. The red heifer. There's somebody they put this golden calf, they put this man up and you don't realize it's the same thing as the heifer because that's what we know him as, the ram, as the heifer. They know what they're doing. It's just that you ain't smart enough to game play it. So now they took away the daily sacrifice of what we got through where he left us with the covenant, with the book, and then replaced it. And then gave you this cross. They gave you these little figured hands sitting up here. Mm. And this is an abomination. And he said, this is what made desolate. This is why you out of your land in the first yeah. place. He said, what they put up is why you gone. Mm. Listen. And such as do wickedly against the covenant. What happened, son? Shall he corrupt by flattery. Y'all hear that? That's what we're going to talk to and work with. That's what they tell them folks. So that they right. They're Israelis. All day long, Israelis. And when I meet one, I say, you know what? It's good to meet an Israeli. How y'all Jews doing anyway? Hmm? How your queens doing? Mm. Hey, Jeff Ben, look what they do. They got homosexual parades over in the Kadosh land. They got mosques sitting up. They got, that ain't the only thing. We talk about the mosque. They got Orthodox Greek churches sitting in there. Y'all know what I mean? The Orthodox Greek churches sitting over in that place. Catholic church, Greek church. The mosque ain't the only problem we got in Jerusalem. All this stuff is what made desolation. There's no way in the world they were the people that ever signed off on no agreement like that. Listen. But the people that do know their Allahim. Yeah, that's us. Now, the people that do know their Allahim, we the only one. What happened, son? Shall be strong. That's what we're looking at. Come on, son. And do exploits. Uh-huh. And they that understand among the people. What happened, son? Shall instruct many. I wish I understood so I could be able to teach people and tell them what they need to do. Huh? That's going to put at the alignment. You're going to instruct. That's going to go back to your alignment. You're going to teach. Going to put you right back at your alignment. Come on. Yet they shall fall by the sword. You don't think, I told y'all before, y'all don't heard me tell y'all how I ain't going to die, right? Nope. These people ain't going to do nothing to me. What y'all think these people going to do? So I know when I took this job on, you need to know this. If you're going to teach and you're going to instruct people and you're going to know your Allahim, these people ain't going to let you keep standing up here like this. That's right. These people already got a plot. Listen, they do it. Most of y'all will be on TV saying, I hear what time for and die, but I've been wanting to die. Every serve, I pray, die, die, die. If the nigga come out, y'all don't know the niggas once I leave him. They'll show themselves then. They'll show themselves. Listen. And by flame. And by flame. By captivity. Yeah. And by spoil Mm -hmm. many days. You hear that? That's where they're going to take what we got. Come on, son. Now when they shall fall. And when they shall fall, tell them what's going to happen, son. They shall be hoping with a little help. You hear that? He's going to give me some help. Y'all know we can find that, right? When it came down to Yahushua. 
when he was bearing his cross. You do know they had a man. That's right. You know, they, they say him, they compel. You have him carry a cross. He said, now when you fall now, you don't get a little help. Man, they had to be coming out serene. They had told him, said, they, him, they compel. Say, you help him. So he let her know, he got some people that going to help me. Y'all all right? He said, you fall, you don't get a little help. There's some people set out there, y'all don't even know about, they had to just sit back. Just like y'all didn't know nothing about um, who they called Joseph. We just said the man of Amethia. We didn't know nothing about him until he died. He had position too. Had enough position to clock that pile under him enough when he came and said, let me, let me get that body. Had no clout in position being a man of the Yahudim to go and approach a Roman. And this man sat here and respect him enough to say, you can have that body. Yeah. Y'all all right? Yeah. We got some people that say, right, and here come Nicodemus. What they call? We got a body named Nick. Because Nicodemus sound like Saint Nick. Yeah. So you have that's why it's easy, that's why it's easy for kids to believe in Saint Nick. He sound like Nicodemus. See, all they do, they always put something close to what we got. That's how they mesmerize and make a fool out of us. All these names, eventually we'll get to and we'll change. We'll get to right where we need to be. It's going to happen. We're going to have to do it. Listen. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries. What happened, son? And some of, and some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them white, even to the time of the end. Y'all hear this? He said, some are going to fall. That's how we're going to be tried. Y'all hear me? That's how we're going to get to perfection. That's what we look at with him. That's how he got to perfection. He wasn't in perfection when he came. He made and reached perfection through the suffering, through the obedience of the word. That's what we got to reach. That's why I tell y'all a lot of times when situation comes, y'all want to pray yourself out of it. Yeah. Pastor, I'm going through, pray for him, and then it'll hurry up and get over. Okay, just pray you out of that one. That's what he's going to do. He done told you he's going to sit here and he's going to refine us. And to refine us, then we got to go through the fire. When he told us how some were going to do exploit, meaning we were going to stand up and we were going to do something. Some are going, I ain't going to be able to stand around no Catholic church over there in Jerusalem. I don't mind them over him. This is a hell hole anyway. This is where they belong at. I'm going to have a real problem standing around that stuff over there. Ain't that right? They might have calling me ISIL. What them niggas, Ilza Ilza? It bad. Ilza Ilza doing our job. Ball, a God that our people fail by. Look how they wind up putting it. I told y'all, whenever you have the A-L at the end, what do you want him to do? Yoshi. That's how they have ball. That's how they get us. They know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Because this right here symbolizes a God. Out of all the ones you have in here, this name just happened to go this way. You look in your book, and it just happened to have the, have the Yoshi and have the AL. They know how to ease it in on you. I need to get this nigga off the board. But I just put it up so you'll just kind of see how they kind of get us a little bit. This is why I get on y'all when y'all sleeping, y'all not conscious, because it's just too much we don't know. It's too much they work on us. You know what I'm saying? Un, unawares. They sneak them in unawares. Y'all got it? That's why we come in here now, we become, this should bother the fact we've been saying feast of trumpet, all these other people got yum tira. Why nobody been talking about Zakarun? Why they been talking about um, Tau? Why we haven't been hearing about it, that's the word for trumpet. Why they hadn't told us this? What's the purpose? These people sitting in the land, these people got all this information. Where did you get yum tira from? Mm. What is a yum when we ain't got an O? But anyway, else they spell yum. They spell, if you spell it's yum yum, you're going to spell it like this. But all of a sudden, when they got yum tira, it's going like this. They always got us. They always ease it in on it. You know how they tell with the English language? You can play with it. That's the problem. You can't play with God's word. It's strict. They play all the games they want to play when it's convenient to them. Y'all hear me? That's how they get us. Um, so we start to look at the importance of looking at what's going to happen with some of us. Just being honest with y'all, there are going to be some more changes we're going to make. There's no way for us to set and continue to learn and start to change and get more in-depth into the language and we not start removing and getting rid of some other things. We're going to have to move in and get in our own clothes. 
They get us with the clothes. Because truthfully, he's already told us about these, di these different materials being mixed. And they do it to us every time. Yeah. Everything we would do is supposed to be single. Supposed to be in oneness in everything we're supposed to do. They just gradually ease stuff in for us, just like all the fruits. They start getting and mixing together and start growing them and just give them to you and just shoot them to her. Everything they've been doing to her, he's been getting us. Everything they've been doing to her, they've been getting us. We ain't been paying attention to it because you start looking. I, and I was one, I've been guilty in the past. I watched them. And what did they do? He said, well, I know the Jewish people, they do it. Watch the black hat people. They put me the orthodox, as they said. So if they eat it, it's okay. If they do it, it must be okay. Because they know the law, and they supposed to be God's people. That's what they count on. They count on us being stupid enough to measure and do everything we do based off of them versus what does the book say. Right. That's why I let us know it's written in the prophet. We all got to be taught of Yahuwah. Every man, therefore, that had heard and learned of Yahuwah, you got to come to Yahusha. Right, right, right. Y'all hear me? So I want y'all just to understand that there's going to be some fear, and some of y'all, when this comes, some of you going to fall away. And it's just important that y'all know this now. Some of you guys are going to fall away. Some of you are going to fall away. There's people, it's only so much you're going to take. You ain't going to lose nothing. But them two Christians that went to jail just made a fool out of us, though. That's true. I'm sure that judge had bills, too. That's mm. true. These are elected positions these people, and these people chose to go to jail, which could hinder them from not possibly being elected again. They look at the little bit they, they have of a knowing of God, they were willing to put all that on the line and lose those jobs. Good careers. These were good careers. These over hundred thousand dollar year job. Some of y'all these little twenty five thousand dollar job, the ten thousand dollar job. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna go to hell. These people are gonna be a witness against you. When they were pushed, and they looked at two homosexuals came up and told me to give them some Mary license. I ain't giving it to them. They learned that you're in violation of the law and you could go to jail. I'm gonna go to jail. She sat in jail and didn't beg nobody to get out. Four kids, single mom, sat in jail. Come on, anybody? What anybody gonna say? The Lord ain't going to make you stupid. You are a single mom with four kids. Let's just be practical. What's the logical thing to do? Go ahead and give them the license. That don't mean you go along with it, Dave. They got to answer to God for that. You go ahead and give them the license. Let them, God will deal with them later. You need to be at home with your kids. You got a career that God has truly blessed you with. And sometimes you can make what God has made a blessing, make it a curse. That's the way we think. Versus, she knew it was wrong, and I ain't giving it to him. Y'all hear me? Oh, amen. For whatever reason we talking about this, everybody here needs to start considering, you're going to be tried. You're going to be tested. Oh, they're going to send some over here. They'll come over here. The man I make them a preacher, the man I marry them. I'm waiting on them. Tell them, go ahead and have my bed made, because I'm coming to jail. I'm like, Fred, I'm coming to join you, Elizabeth. This is the big one. I ain't married them jokers. I ain't signed off on one of them. They ain't, some stuff they already know, that ain't going to work. I already doing my hunting. Why don't I walk in a day further and drop down and do a thousand push-ups? Some already jail how ready. Y'all hear me? Because what we believe for, we can't compromise this. He's not giving us the language for the key. Come, we already done compromised, the truth be told. We've been compromised. Yeah. That's the problem. We've been compromised. It's just like they talk about these other countries. They arguing about these computer systems. They've been compromised. The IRS said they've been compromised. Russia have been breaking into the computer system. Um, Sony said they were compromised. They said North Korea broke into their computer system. When he started looking and said, we're the people that's supposed to hold all his information. We've been compromised. Talking with these people too much, telling these people too much. A lot of stuff we're doing and we're going to start doing going to have to go off air. That's how they got us now. Let's go ahead and get this right quick. Um, um, Malachi. 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 Um, Beth. Chapter 17, verse 20. So a lot of stuff going to have to go offline for them. This being under, a lot of stuff going to have to go offline for them. Listen to the book. And Yahuwah rejected all the seed of Yasharon. Y'all see what they did? He rejected all the seed of Yasharon. And afflicted them. And delivered them into the hand of spoilers. Y'all see that? And he afflicted them and, and delivered them into the hands of plunderers. Spoilers of people that plundered them. This is how I told them. You know the Bible said, uh, spare the rod and spoil the child. That's not even in the book. How many of y'all thought that was in the Bible? It's not written anywhere. 
There is no such writing says spare no rod and spoil no child. Spoil used here for our King James plunder. Listen. Until he had cast them out of his sight. Till he cast them out of his sight. For he rent Yasharol from the house of Daoud. Y'all see what he did? He tore. Come on. And they made Jeroboam, the son of Nebet, king. Listen. And Jeroboam drained well, Yasharol. they made him Malak. Malak. M-A-L-A-K is short for king. Malaki is short. Malakim is short for kings, plural. Then we have the Y-M is plural. Y'all got it? Come on. And Jeroboam drave Yasharal from following Yahuwah. Yes. And made them sin a great sin. Yes. For the children of Yasharal walked in, walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. Yes. They departed not from them mm -hmm. until Yahuwah removed Yasharal out of his sight. Come on. As he had said by all his servants, the prophets. Come on. So was Yasharal carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. Listen. And the king of Assyria brought, brought men from Babylon. Listen what happened. The king of Assyria brought men from where? Babylon. Babylon. Why he bring people from Assyria? Brought a different people. Because they already look at it. They smarter than us. They could have took us and put their same self over there. Now they brought some more white folk just a tad different than them. You know, you can look and they say, you'll say, that guy white. You'll say, no, 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 he ain't white, he's Jewish. You say, no, well, you can tell the way their hair is. Tell. They learn to get people similar to like and put them there. So you still favor, you still get them two kind of confused. The white man and a Jewish man, when they the same people. They from Europe, they the same people. Just like African, you can call yourself some other night, a Cameroonian or a Nigerian, whatever, but you're still African. A Jew and a white man is still a European. Those are just like tribal names. That's how they mess us up. And you said, oh, I'm, I thought you were white. I didn't know you were Jewish. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Listen, the plot of erasing us was so big. and I mean, just so magnified. Every race had played a part in it. There's been no race that came up and just told the truth. They know this happened. They even replaced all those people that sitting over there in Iran and all those. Those people are, couldn't be no original people. They favored them. That show you just what kind of work was done. Whenever they show you bombings, whenever they show you those people over there, you never see a black face on them. Notice that whenever they show you anything happen over there, they never going to show you a black people. And we there. When you go over to Yashraw, They'll have us nowhere. They put us in the outskirts down in the southern parts. They push us way out in the places. So when cameras come and people come and tourists come, they ain't going to see you. They show, pull up on your phone, you get a chance on your computer after Shabbat. And pull up, uh, you want to see an, a, a trip in Israel. Just let them pull up vacation in Israel, you want to see it. You won't see a black face on it. Called the plot thickens. All those people that sit over there in them other Iranian countries, all those people, them Palestinians claiming it's their land, all them liars. One can't talk about the other because all them liars. The Iranians who want to blow them off the earth and have them spent, they're not no original people. Everybody over oh, no original were black. They've always been black. But they won't show them to you. They'll show you India and won't show you. Those people in India are black. I don't know how an Indian, uh, Indian and a Pakistani got a problem. They the same people. One just say Muslim and the other one just Hindu. You put them jokes in a bag to shake it day and turn it upside down, I wouldn't care who hit the ground first. Turn the Pakistani in, I wouldn't care who hit the ground first. They the same people. They just believe two different things and they play in our mind. Uh -uh. See, that's an Indian. An Indian. Uh -uh. That's a pe they the same people. They're the same people. All these people are part of a plot of disemboweling us. All these people are part of the plot. They know it. Not one of these races, not one of them innocent. It ain't even fair to hate the white people. The other people that sat around and reached with it all play part and they all privy to it. That guy in North Korea, that's so beautiful how he like black people. Let Danny Robin them come over and all that. He ain't gonna tell you the original people though. 
When you do start running your mouth like that, they're going to kill you. Ask Adolf Hitler. You know what Hitler known for, Dane? Tell you what he's known for. He's known for being a maniac. Do y'all not know that Hitler had actually lost his mind and had gone crazy? Let me tell you that, though. But he managed to get a book written. The man managed to set up and set up socialism where all the people had the same wealth. He managed to set up where blacks would integrate with whites. He had the first military where blacks and whites served and stayed together. When we went over there to fight him, we were the only people who couldn't stay with whites, and we went to help dirty whites go kill a white man and have no problem with us. Hitler set up programs to help blacks. Hitler was the one that tried to tell the people that those people were not Jews and they had raped their country and they were raping us over there. White people, go read white people history right of Hitler. It will tell you that Hitler was crazy. He lost his mind just before he died. Did Hitler tell you that? The Germans don't have that recorded. You know who do? We do. That's how they play a game with your mind. They teach you who to hate and who to love. That's true. That's true. And the reason I had to tell you this, because that's dangerous. Everybody that's ever been in your corner, everybody that's ever said anything for you and about you, they managed to get rid of. They had a king in Egypt back in about 1950s. So I forgot his name. He wrote, he spoke and told them that those white people would never be accepted in those regions. He said, because you left here black, how did you wind up white? They don't even talk about it. This is a book. This is a book. King of Egypt told him that. He said, you will never be accepted over him. Because you left him black and you came back white. Nobody even talk about that. He'll never get no no Anybody. I told y'all before, Lyndon Bain Johnson. Ask these black folks how they hate Lyndon Johnson. Dirty cracker. Said, tell me what Lyndon Bain Johnson ever did against blacks. Oh, um, oh, um, just a dirty cracker. That's all he was. <laughs> what about Kennedy? Was he a dirty cracker? No, Kennedy, Kennedy, no. Kennedy, we're Kennedy love black people. What? Did he have a, a black woman he was sleeping with? Mm-mm. Did he ever sign a bill or ever help blacks? How he love them? Just like Bill Clinton love black people. Yeah. Cut away, took away your social security. Messed that up, messed up your Medicaid, messed up welfare reform, messed up everything you got. Now, listen, gave you more time for crack cocaine than powder. Yep. Yep. All you had to do was smoke a joint. And then when I smoked it, you know I ain't even hell. You got to believe that because you think I like blacks. Yep. Yep. That's all I got to do. I put the hardest penalties on you ever been. How many of y'all got student loans? You at one time could get rid of them student loan. Thanks to Bill Clinton White, she put on now, even if you file bankruptcy, you can't get rid of them. I hope she win because she love black people. Because they love black people. These folks have made, you see what I'm trying to get you to understand? Now you ask yourself, after you hear this, how many of y'all used to like Bill Clinton? Thought he was a good guy. I never voted for him, but I did. That was before knowing anything about him. Who, this is the thing now, how did I just like him and have a care for him. I was never a Democrat. That was, I'm, I got you, but Democrat, you're right. Which is socialized, you're right. I was never a Democrat, never voted Democrat. But you see how suggestive thought work? I heard other people say, Bill was for us. Bill like blacks. Bill gonna help blacks. I never found any information where he ever did it. Just show you how people give you suggestive thought. And we just naturally just loved it. People were fighting one time saying, we needed to get him in another term, even though he had been. They say they need to change the time limit behind him. Right. Says so no way we need to just let him serve for two terms. They need more time. One, another four years, all of us will be dead. Right. <laughs> I just say this to try to get y'all to understand. That means everybody you've been given to love, to respect, to honor, and to appreciate, what do you really know about these people? We talked about Dr. King. Great Christian. Didn't even believe that good Jesus even resurrected. Say he didn't believe in it. That was like a folk saying. The man had a Baptist church. Anybody grew up Baptist church? Jesus it. How are you going to be a Baptist preacher and you don't believe that Jesus got up? He didn't even believe that. King didn't even believe in it. King didn't believe his mother was a virgin. He said he believed in no virgin birth. 
All these niggas love him. You know how many people go down, come here just to go to his church now? Because a good Christian man he was, how he believed in God. He didn't believe in that stuff. Who told you he was a great preacher and how he loved God and Jesus? Where you get this stuff from? His own writers, he didn't have a problem. He had discrepancy with this stuff. But you don't think. And that's what they always get you on. They give you your leaders. They give you who, like the people that hate me, go and find out what I did. Go find out that I sleep with their mama. Did I rape the kid? Did I take money from them? Did I lie to them? They've been programmed through suggestive thought to hate somebody that come to help them. Ain't that right? And the folk that come to hurt them, they've been trained to love them. They've been trained to love everybody that, that, come, to, that come to kill them. Oh, Jake, now run me down. Oh, I know they run me down. Joking. That's what they ever do for them. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But for the reason, y'all need to hear that note. But we'll come on and finish this up so we can keep moving. Because we want to learn about um, Zakarun, Zakarun, Taor, Taor. Listen. And the Malak of Assyria brought mm-hmm. men from Babylon. Yeah, I see which would be the king. Well, we'll call him a king. We don't care about them. We'll never get a Malak. That's our word. Whenever it's a nigga, we just call them Cain. You know, he's a nigga like Dr. Dr. Cain. Listen. And from Kutha, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sephar Baim, mm-hmm. and placed them in the cities of Samaria and instead. They, instead. Of the children of Yasharal. Instead of the children of Yasharal. Other brother, you pick me up at the 10th chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. We don't keep moving. I just want y'all to look at facts. You know what's bad? They gave you this and put this in the book. Now, he just told you that they came, put men from Kuth. They took men from, um, from all these other places and brought them here and set them in Samaria. Instead of who now? The children of Yasharal. So that means some people were already there and they took them out and put some other people in there instead of leaving them there. And how, how long? And tell me when we went back, Brandon. And they possessed Samaria. And they did what now? Possessed Samaria. So they had Samaria. And tell me when they gave it up now. And dwelt in the cities thereof. Uh huh. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there. Yes. That they feared not Yahuwah. Yes. Therefore, Yahuwah sent lions among them, uh-huh. which slew some of them. Yes. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, yes. The nations which thou hast removed uh-huh. and placed in the cities of Samaria yes. know not the manner of the Allahim of the land. So you see what happened when they got there? They didn't know how to do like we did. Yeah. He said they don't know the manner. They were getting destroyed by beasts. We had already heard about that. We were already told that in the book of Yerim Yahu. He told us about that. Hold on. Let's see what Yerim Yahu told us. Yerim Yahu, chapter 15. Verse 1. Let me get my pen. I appreciate it, good man. What I call Matthew, Matthew Yahoo. Yes, sir. So they'll get that. Uh oh. Let me get my eraser. I'm writing, I'm seeing letters, they ain't there yet. Maybe that's that white man medication catching up with me. And we call Yarum Yah. Yarum Yahoo. Chapter 15. Verse 1. Listen. Then said Yahuwah unto me. What did he say, son? Though Moshe and Shamuel stood before me. I said, though Moshe. And Shamuel, which they were going to call Moses and, and Samuel. Moshe and Shamuel, what happened? Stood before me. Uh-huh. Yet my mind could not be toward this people. He said he could not be toward this people. What happened? Cast them out of my sight mm-hmm. and let them go forth. Come on. And it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? What happened, son? Then thou shalt tell them, thus said Yahuwah. Yeah. Such as... For such as are for death to death. Y'all hear this? Such as for death. He said, let them go ahead and die. What happened, son? And such as are for the sword. And such as that should die by the sword? To the sword. Let them go ahead and get the sword. What happened, son? And such as are for the famine to yes. the famine. And such that should die from famine, let the famine take them. Come on, son. And such as are for the captivity. Is what? 
to the captivity. So tell me what he wound up appointing, son. And I will appoint over them four kinds. What is the one he going to give you? Said Yahuwah. Like, what's one of them? The sword to slay. He's going to give you the sword to slay. What else, son? And the dogs to tear. And the dogs to tear. And the fowls of Shamayim. And the beast of the Ritz to devour and destroy. So you can see now why when they was in Samaria, why they, why they wound up being overtaken with lions. Because their mind couldn't be toward this people. They didn't know the custom nor the way. That's why it's important for you to know these things. Why he taught today, you know, about lions coming in and devouring them. Come on, son, back over to what you have. As um, Malachi, uh, Beth, 17, what verse you left off at? 26. And the other one still got me the book of Matthew Yahoo. Let's hear verse 26. Listen. The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria mm -hmm. know not the manner of the Allahim of the land. Yes. Therefore he hath sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the Allahim of the land. What happened, son? Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom ye brought from thence. You see what they did? Take one of us right back there. And what happened? And let them go and dwell there. And let them go and dwell there. And let him teach the manner of the Allahim of the land. That's how they wind up getting the little knowledge they got. They got it from us. That's why they can't kill off all of us. It's just like when they came to get the Indians, it didn't make sense to kill off all of them. They still had to learn how to hunt and how to fish. They weren't going to never survive. They still had to learn how to grow tobacco. They know what they do. They learn when you get them, don't kill them all. You keep some of them. Isn't that right? Is that like when you get it, you always keep you some specimens. You don't know when you're going to have to recreate again. And that's what they learned how to do with us. When they saw they would get destroyed, they went right back and took one of our priests, put him there, and let him dwell there, and let him teach the people the manner of the Allahim of the land. At the 10th chapter, if you would, of the book of Matthew Yahu, 10 and 1. I know some of y'all got to go to work tonight, so I'm going to try to. Some of y'all got to go first thing in the morning. But this is information y'all need to know tonight. Amen. Amen. This is the book of Matthew, Yahoo, chapter 10 at verse 1. Listen. And, and we'll when move he forward. Had, Listen. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples. What happened, son? He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. All right, jump down to about verse 6. What happened, son? But go rather... At verse 5. Yes. These 12, Yahushua sent forth and commanded them, saying... Do what? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not where? Into the way of the Gentiles. And what happened, son? Into any city of the Samaritans. Do what, son? Enter ye not. So it makes sense why he'd have told us that, don't it? Because we ain't down. That's the time period after. We'll let you know we didn't get back down. Our people didn't even return back down. That let you know still after captivity we didn't return back down. So it will make sense now when he would tell them in any city of Samaria. Answer ye not. But. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Yasharal. Which means they lost. When you lost something, you got to search everywhere for it. When you lose something. You might have been right here. You said, I've been right here, and I lost something, and I can't find it. You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start looking all over that place. Although I was right here, when I discovered I lost, and this is where I was, I remember I had it. Now I got to start searching everywhere. That's us. We were in Samaria. We were in Jerusalem. But now when you start looking for lost, you got to search the whole scan, the whole place. He done told me to go looking for the lost sheep. So if I'm looking for lost sheep, I got to look somewhere everywhere. Because they lost, if I knew where it's at, it ain't lost. Is it lost? I lost $20 at home in my wallet, in my drawer. It can't be lost. So he sent them, meaning this gospel got to be preached everywhere. That's how you find, he said, this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached in all the, the world. The reason you hear that is because of us. He said we were lost, which means we've been dispersed over this whole planet. Yeah, yeah. You can find us in China. They ain't going to show it to you. You can find us all across Asia. You can find us in Australia. You can find us all across Europe. You're going to find us all across America. You're going to find us in the Caribbean. You don't care. You don't get us ever South America. 
There's no way you're going to go. you from the reason South America. Is that, what, what are they considered? South America? Right, Same town. Central oh, Central America. We're in Central America. We're in everywhere. So you look at this gospel being preached, you're going to have to cover everyone. That's the only reason the whole world got opportunity to be saved. Yeah. It's because we've been dispersed. And because now you got to go and preach this gospel everywhere because of us. But one particular place he told them, don't even worry about preaching that. Samaria. You know why? Ain't no Yahudines in Samaria. Because you clearly heard what happened. He removed all of us out. Yep. The nigga that went back and told everything, even him, don't even let him hear nothing. Yep. He stayed and dwelt there with me. He should have had some kids there, no doubt. Yep. Ain't even worried about them. Wow. They don't want to think like that, do they? Right. Right. But he done told them to go in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. But we ain't there. See, it's that these people benefit and for whatever reason we're talking about this, y'all need to know this. When you've heard before and we've read how rather through our fall, salvation has come through the Gentiles, it's happened that way. The only way he was going to actually say to these people, you got to remember he sent our prophet Moshe unto Pharaoh. He said that he was the all ahim of the Hebrews. Which meaning, I have no relation or no covenant commitment with nobody else. So I have no commitment or no reason to even save anybody else. I have no reason to even talk to anybody else. But in order for him to do that because he's everybody creator, I had to suffer you to be in a position that you fall. Your fall would get you cast out of a place out of my sight. But because I love you, Ryan, I'll come back and I'll get you. I'll come back and I'll get you. You know why I'll come back and get you? Wherever you at. Wherever you at, I'm sending somebody to come and I'm going to fetch you. Now you mixed and you mingle, you made with other people, you multiply with me. Now I'm going to get you and bring them back. These Gentiles that we're looking at coming in, those are a lot of us. Because now we're looking, we are other nations. When they were on the day of, on the day of uh, Feast of Weeks, when they came back, they named them out by nations. Pick me up at Acts of the Apostle chapter 2. 2 and 6. We're going a whole nother way for whatever reason he want to talk about this. People, let me tell you something. We're going to be going offline. I, I think we're going to be going offline soon. Not for the member's sake. Not, not for that end. But this, we, we've been infiltrated too long. They don't take this that we get into. They learn it too. Then any connect they're going to get from the most high, they're going to get it from us. I had to do just like he said, the father give me a commandment what I should say and what I should do. When he gives it to me, I'm pulling the plug on it for him, though. That's, that's going to be the honest truth for him. Because the thing that we're going to have to wind up getting ready to do, we're going to have to wind up separating from these people. Yeah. That's just being honest. We can't make it. We can't keep me. When I keep telling y'all over and over for whatever reason how we need to establish our own business, me and Brother Chris were talking. We're going to want to get away from these people. We might do business with them to an extent, but we're going to want to get away from these people. Because they're going to get it. They're going to make us keep these market suits and we're going to do business with them. Yeah. If you're going to work for them, you're going to have a uniform. You don't have a dress code. Your dress code, if you look at anything they give you, you start looking at the ingredients on it, you're going to start finding. This is going to be contrary to what he told me. But then, you know, you're going to start saying, though, but the Lord ain't made me no food. I got to work. The Lord ain't made me no food. The Lord, I got to provide for my family. They're going to get us. They got us. That's the whole purpose. They try to keep us out there mingling in with them. They know I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you to touch and handle something I told you that's unclean. He know I'm going to get the cars, these dead bodies of these beasts. He said, we don't touch that stuff. I don't make nobody no ham sandwich. That's, carcass, that, that's the carcass of a dead beast. That's an unclean. But he said, even this is an abomination. I'm not going to make you no ham sandwich. Mike, go in there and fry me up some bacon and, and get in there and put me some squirrel goobers on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get it for it. I'm not finna do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I know it kind of overextended. They're going to put us in there. They know, they know what they're going to do. They're sticking up. They're going to stick us in a situation where... We wind up having to get ourselves in a mess for him. Go to the store for him, you would, Leon. I got a grocery list. Pick me up some stuff. Now, he done shower and all of a sudden want to help me out. And that grocery list going to involve some unclean stuff, beast. He going to wind up going there and touch and get. Right. Hmm, they got some badger meat. And he going to go pick it up and bring it on back to me. Mm -hmm. he, you know what? It, now, he think about it. He not eating the badger meat. Mm -hmm. Ain't like, I'm going to eat it. 
I'm just trying to help somebody out. If they want to eat it, let them eat it. I'm just going to get it for them and take it back there. I set them up. These people, I'm telling y'all, we gonna, and you know what? Once we really start standing with our restrictions, what we supposed to do, just like he told with this law, we're going to be able to mess with these people. Before, you go, since, before we get that, let's go ahead and hit that 14th chapter book of, uh, of uh, Uyikra. Uyikra. Y'all need to hear that. Uyakra. Eleven and one. Wonderful Savior. That's right. Or oh, we'll say wonderful Husha. Yeah. Wonderful Husha. That's what Husha is, Savior. A lot of stuff that what he give up. Then he got lifesavers, some candy. Yeah. Mm. That's why the folk keep playing around with um, Yahushua. That's why they play with Jesus. They think he's some candy. Yeah. Isn't that right? Husha. Wonderful Husha. Amen. That's the shorter part. What happened? Huh? Oh, QA. All right, help me out now. Where are them erasing? Thank you, sir. That's what we're supposed to do. Help one another out. Ain't that right, John? Ooh, yakra. What does that mean, brethren? He called. That let us know he called. Listen. And And Yahuwah. Verse 1. And Yahuwah. Spake unto Moshe, saying, mm-hmm. This shall be the law of the leper. In the day of his cleansing, he shall be brought unto... This is the 11th chapter? 14. 11th chapter, I apologize. I, I did say 11th chapter. You probably missed it. You probably was speaking of love or something, haven't you heard? 14th <laughs> chapter. About the love 11. I'm thinking of. Speaking of love. At verse 1? Yeah. Feels good. Mm, 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 mm. All right. No, go ahead. <laughs> and Yahuwah spake unto Moshe and Aaron, saying unto them, speaking unto the children of Yasharal, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the aritz. Mm-hmm. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. Mm hmm. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat yeah. of them that chew the cud, yeah. or of them that divide the hoof, yeah. as the camel, because he cheweth the cud. But what's the problem? But divided not the hoof. I told you that's what a lot of get messed up at. We just looking at that. Why not though? He chewed the cud. Ain't that what's most important? And he start looking at that foot, trying to with your little eye, trying to split the little camel foot. Leave the camel alone now. Come on. He is unclean unto you. Yeah. And the coney. Because he chewed the cud. I think that might be the badger. They got a badger too. These things right here. A lot of stuff these things go down the name. You know you don't fool with. If you watch these badgers and other stuff, what they do, they have a paw. And we talked about that last night with the rabbit. Old nigga start rubbing on the rabbit foot. Then he try to split his little foot open like this. That's a paw. That's not a, that's not a hoof. I told you cloven is together. But it's got a split in the middle of it. A rabbit got a paw. You can separate his paw. His, his little, whatever the little thing is called on his paw, but that's not a hoof. And that's where a lot of them mess up at. But it tastes good. That's how you go to hell. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's how you wind up burning in hell because you be retarded. You keep going. Once he tell us not to do something, that's good enough for us. Listen. But divided not the hoof, mm-hmm. he is unclean unto you. Come on. And the hair, because he chewed the cud, but divided not the hoof. See that? I'm trying to tell them bull dagger. They heard that. They hit them, he hit them bull dagger, didn't they? She ain't got no bending down now. <laughs> Come on. He is unclean unto you. <laughs> See that? Go ahead. <laughs> and the swine. And the swine. Though he divided the hood. What's his problem? And he and be cloven footed. Yeah. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Come on. He is unclean to you. Come on. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their car- carcass shall ye not touch. See that? That gets you right now. Why you be looking at all that other stuff about not eating it now? Talking about not cooking it. 
My mother-in-law used to go here and she would tell me, I had to cook for my husband. I had to cook him some bacon. He be wanting some sausage. I said, I wouldn't be doing it. I've been told y'all about that stuff, did I not? Yeah. I know a lot of y'all, y'all can't handle a whole lot of stuff. Y'all be counting on the weak side. What I'm going to do in my home, what I'm going to do? I ain't going to handle it. Yeah. The man told me not to touch it. He said it's unclean to you. And we talked about what we learned that from, brother. We learned that from Barashit, chapter 3. He told her when the serpent asked her, had he indeed said that you couldn't eat it? She said, not only he told her we couldn't eat it, he told her we couldn't touch it. It don't make sense. He tell you you can't eat it, but you can go ahead and play with it. He told me it was not for them to eat it, and I don't even want you touching it. So it means you ain't got no business touching no darn pork. That tight, doesn't it? Talking about foot, that's the skin. That's different. He's talking about football. No, you can't eat the football. That's just the skin on them. We're talking about the meat of the carcass. So you're talking about these folks saying, he's talking about the football. God, the mind, the mind, the mind, the mind. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> you, you way out there. No, no, you talking about. You heard that, didn't you? No, no not you. People be sticking their head out there in the door. I know. Come on, listen. They are unclean to you. Yeah. These shall ye eat. Of all that are in the waters. Come on, son. Whatsoever had fins and scales in the waters. Some of them ask me about eating seaweed, all that. He's not talking about seaweed. He's talking about the animals. We're talking about creatures you're supposed to eat. Come on. In the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Y'all hear that? That's an abomination. Shrimp, crab leg, ain't nothing but a roach, lobster. All that clams, shellfish, yeah. all that junk. He said that stuff should be abomination unto you. Now he told us abomination. What are we going to go with on that and not eating it? What else? Not to touch it. He told us abomination. If it's an abomination, where are we going to even be touching it? Come on. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have See, that their... That was talking about eating of it, because you're going to go with that about not touching it. What you going to do with a horse? Yeah. They roll camels. You can't touch it, so you can't touch the camel. You can't touch it, you can't ride it. He telling me when it's dead, taking that meat. No, we don't fool with the meat of it. Y'all got it? Otherwise, we can't ride a horse. What are we going to tell you? We can't ride a horse? We can't ride a camel? See, we don't be careful. You'd be so far out there, you'd be over with. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? You'd be, you be so far they'd be over with. Listen. But ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. Now, I want to know how they had them hooked up to their chariots. Somebody had to touch it to hook it up to the chariot. Mm -hmm. He's talking about when it's dead. We don't touch the dead carcass of them beasts. When we walk up, we catch them. They unclean dogs. Come on. Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. Yeah, he said, that's an abomination if we don't have fins nor scales. I got a little jellyfish I keep in my pocket. You need to get rid of it. <laughs> a little retard. <laughs> got a little dead jellyfish. Get rid of it. What you doing? Oh, go find him on the beach. Go pick up jellyfish. Retard said the thing is still kill you, even dead. Still stick you. Listen. And these are they which ye shall have an abomination among the fowls. Yeah. They shall not be eaten. They are an, they are an abomination. Come the on. The eagle and the ossifrage and the osprey and the vulture and the kite after his kind. Mm -hmm. Every raven after his kind. Mm -hmm. And the owl and the night hawk and the cuckoo and the hawk after his kind. Yeah. And the little owl and the cormorant and the great owl. And the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the stork, the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat, all fly, all fowls that creep among, all fowls that creep going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. All who? All fowls that creep going upon all four mm -hmm. shall be an abomination unto you. Uh huh. Yet these may ye eat of every flying, creeping thing that goeth upon all four. Yeah. Which have legs above their feet to leap withal upon the arit. So that's going to put us at what creature we talked about, brother? 
They're going to put us at the beetle. They're going to put us at the, at the grasshopper because you're going to watch how his legs are made. They're going to sit above his body, and they're made that so he can leap. And you watch the bee, his legs going to be made just like this. His legs ain't for no leaping. He's a flying creature. His legs are below. He said, all these things are abomination to you. Come on. Even these of them he may eat. The locust after his kind. Uh-huh. And the ball locust after his kind. Yeah. And the beetle after his kind. Yeah. And the grasshopper after his kind. Yeah. But all other flying, creeping things. But all what? Other flying, creeping things. What did he say about them, son? Which have four feet. Yeah. Shall be an abomination unto you. Go ahead and eat the bee. Go ahead and eat it. Throw up out of their mouth. A lot of stuff we've been doing, we just got to get away from it. And he unclean and told about the other. He was going to not even touch it. Why don't we going to be eating something he threw up out of his mouth? Yeah. I had a brother, he mentioned he was doing some research on that because he had it when the poo sweat on. And he said he got a different belly that he take the honey in and make. He got an extra belly. I said, still throwing it up out the same mouth. I told him he got more than one belly, too. He got a large intestine and a small intestine. If he throw up, which one it come out of? Still come out the same mouth. Isn't that right? We don't eat him a lot of the creatures he deemed. We don't eat because of the way they eat. I ain't got nothing to tell me he got no two bellies. I ain't never looked at no bee belly. He white folks tell you, you open it up and look down there, and he got a, I can tell he got a backpack, and he got a, a separate straw back there that's sucking and putting, he just towed around and manufactured it somewhere. That's going to be different. <laughs> but he taking that stuff in his stomach, taking it down, and spitting it back out. It's just stuff we can't do. I always knew we couldn't never eat no bee. But I never thought nothing about the honey. It's in the book, and that's how they get us. They catch us on not thinking. They catch us on trying to look, use logic on a lot of stuff. But what if he got another stomach? <laughs> that's dangerous. It's dangerous. I just, the way a lot of y'all think, it's actually dangerous. It's like, all y'all have to do is just leave stuff alone. Y'all know that? Let me show you something right quick. Pick up that barrel sheet, chapter 3, verse 1. I show need some time. You might have made these people some coffee. Y'all going to stay up today. I need to talk to y'all. Cause it's too late. Cause we still ain't even. We ain't even start. Well, in a sense, we have dealt with this. I want y'all to pray. In a sense, we have dealt with this. Well, no, I'm sorry. We hadn't dealt. Hadn't dealt. Meaning done. We're dealing with. Meaning we're still doing it. Y'all know that we're still dealing with it. Cause it's too much y'all do. Let me show you something. In Barah sheet chapter three verse one. Tell them, Smith, you might have cranked up that little coffee machine for. I know they're looking to eat, but y'all will be all right. I need y'all to stay awake. I suffer through my blood pressure problem to do that job. Because you know what I look at? I don't never get up here and make no excuse, talk about no blood pressure, nothing else, when I do my job. I'm going to do my job until I can't do it no more. All I ask y'all to do is stay up. You getting to sit back, relax, get up, go take a pee break. I had to hold my little pee. I had to hold my meal. I had to hold my urine. I ain't complaining. This is my job. Because when I get up here and I'm not instructing people, then I'm going to be in problem. I got a, he got a problem with me. Now, I'm telling the people that I understand. He said, those that understand, they're going to instruct many. I'm your shepherd. I'm the lineman, which means I'm supposed to be able to teach you. Right? There's a lot of things y'all guess y'all inquisitive about, but y'all got to start looking at pattern of behavior. And this is the third chapter of the book of Barashit, chapter 1, 3 and 1. Listen, they, for those watching in Genesis, I know I got to remember them. You tell them 8,500 times, still don't know what it is. What do you say, book or tea? <laughs> Is that correct? And that's how we're doing. Buy our sheet. Listen. Buy our sheet three and one. Listen. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Allahim. Had made. What happened, son? And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath Allahim said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Allahim hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So what's going to happen? I go ahead and I'm going to be fooled and run to something that he told me abomination. Anything that I start hearing, he tell me it's an abomination. I should look at that with the look, with have that in admiration of I'm gonna die if I fool with it. But listen, what happened? And the serpent said unto the woman, "Ye shall not 
surely die. What happened? For Allahim doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And what happened, son? And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Listen. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And what happened, son? That it was pleasant to the eyes. And what else, son? A tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. I didn't even want to go that far, but just to get y'all to a principle, you've been saying, and you've been told, don't eat it, don't even touch it. So when you took it, you already put yourself in a transitional state, trans, transgressional state. And now you look at it, now you don't say, hey, you'll start to consume it. After you've been told and you recited yourself, he done said, don't eat it and not to even touch it. And now you look at what he said the woman's problem was when she saw that it was, what was it again, son? Was it verse 4, verse 5? What verse that was? Verse 3? We just ended at verse 5. Back up verse 4, son. Verse 6, you want? What did I say? And the I serpent. Verse four. You said verse 6. And I'm going to want verse 6 when we ain't even read verse 6. You just finished at 5. That's going to make sense to you. Just think about, think about it for your answer. If I just said verse 4, and you said you ended at verse 5, verse 6 makes sense is what I want. We ended at verse 6. I will I peel your motorcycle here. <laughs> Are you conscious? Yes, sir. You go back to verse 4. Yes, sir. Listen to the book. And the serpent said unto the I don't woman. I think I'd be beating on these members, don't they? <laughs> Not yet. Come on. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for Allahim doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Yes. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. Stop. That's what you got to start watching, your desires. Because now you start to deal with what transgression? Lust. This is what the book told you. Let no man say that I'm tempted now. I'm tempted to Allahim. He said, because Allahim cannot tempt any man, cannot be tempted, nor tempt to any man. But every man is tempted when he led away of his own what? Lust. That honey became a lust. He said that when lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. When sin is accomplished, it brings forth death. So you can see where the transgression came when y'all cold told us. She looked. He didn't set them up. He clearly gave them. It wasn't like, don't eat this, and it's nothing that's there to eat. It was there. You can say, well, what would the person put in there? But I specifically told you what you could eat. I specifically told you what was going to happen. So guess what? If you even touch it, I'm going to kill you. So that gets you to the point, don't even play with it. That's the case. I only want to play with it. It'd be like years ago, your mom and them tell you, stop playing around that coffee table. You just keep playing. What's going to wind up happening? You're going to wind up messing up something. So they say, just get away from it. I don't even want you playing around. Don't break that stuff on that table. So get away. Just get away from around it. Now you get near the coffee table. You remember something old? I'm going to just stop you down. Yep. You're going to be trying to figure out, because I told you, because you play around it, you're going to wind up breaking something. So stay you behind away from around it. And that's what he looked at. I don't want you playing with it. Get matter of fact, don't even touch it. Get your behind away from around it. But what we start doing, we start looking for other resources because we start to say our own desire. Things come in and just show us seriously where everyone, where you at. Because once we've been told something, a lot of stuff, it don't take no research to try to look. Because if you want to find something, honestly, you can find whatever you want. It's always somebody to sign off on whatever you want to find. And that's what it wound up happening because if you look, when you find what the serpent came to tell her to do, you ain't going to hardly get me to do nothing I don't want to do anyway. I don't care what you said, but it let you know what a problem was. She was already looking at that tree. That looked like, man, it'd be some good food. That, that fruit that looked like you eat it, man, that fruit like it'll show no half a person right you eat that one. It looked, that, ain't, man, it looked, that fruit that probably been in any other fruit out here. And before you know it, you stuck yourself out here. All you needed was the right encouragement to say, Go ahead and eat it. I don't believe nothing going to happen. That's why a lot of folks have messed up here in train, Greg, because I tell them something, they'll go fool with some other people, and some other people tell them, I know some people in the same thing you in, they do it. That's what people get people on. Y'all know people get you every time. 
I know some people, they, they do it too. That be the problem. When we learn something, folks, that we're not supposed to do, they got it. They got it. It's just better to just come away from running. Anything for us, he'll come back and restore it and say, I'll give you that. But when you go playing with something he told you not to, it's going to always be to your demise. Just like when I told y'all when we picked up on Batum the other day, he told Batum, listen, there are going to be some men that ain't going to come up in the scene. Don't go with them. Don't curse these people. So you were told before they got him. Now you done told them. Now they going to come back and now Ivan them going to come. These guys here, they big time. Let me go ask the Lord right here. Be like, I know good and done well. I told Dave, don't go with these people and don't curse them. So we shouldn't have this conversation anymore. The fact that you come back to ask, it lets me know already you already set yourself up in disobedience. I try to tell y'all stuff. Y'all be watching yourself. A lot of stuff y'all do is show where y'all be at spiritually. Some things, it's good. That's good. He said, I'm good. It's got to be good for us because you're going to get people that's going to come and try to get you. In the book of Marshall Lee, the book told you, it's sinners enticed thee. Because look what wound up happening to Eve. A sinner enticed her, the adversary. He told her, consent thou not. But we wind up giving in to a lot of things because a lot of stuff, people going to play on what you already want. He knew who to come to, didn't he? Not the man. He knew who to come to. He already knew what her desire was. Just like when they came down to Yahushua, after he had been fasting, and the bush afterward, what was he? Uh-huh. There she was sitting at home. He knew who to come to. He knew who to come to. I already know what you like. Talk with you a little bit on it. But now you're not, I had already been looking at it anyway. I've been doing some research on that fruit. <laughs> it just so happened that fruit down, it, it, I believe you. And you want to get yourself off. For every one of us, this way is so critical for us. That we have to really sit down and examine the thing. And when the word comes, the good part of this, that you're able to get the correction before you get yourself in a bad situation, you'll be everlasting curse. All you need to do is be in a situation at day where and that thing you know, you'll be cut off. Every one of us saying you got an opportunity to get things right and stop letting your flesh and desires move you. Because a lot of it's your way our faults at. But that's what the word is supposed to do. Let me show you something right quick. Say that. My, goodness, man, I'm all over the place. Marsha Lee. Come to my mind, so we're talking to her. Which is Proverbs, for those that don't know. Proverbs, yeah. I think all that can go itself for what the day is. Marsha Lee. See if that's all. Mm. 29.17. Let me see that come to my mind. Y'all work with me. Make it 29.16. Let's see what that's like. Marshall Lee, chapter 27, I'm sorry, 29, verse 16. Listen. When the wicked are multiplied, mm. transgression increases. Y'all hear what happened? When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. And you know what happened? Shaul told y'all that. He said, even men and seducer do what? Wax worse and worse. Deceiving? You wonder where sometimes these statements come from. Because he went with what you call a proverb. For us, it's called a Marshall Lee. We don't have no proverb. That's what they got. We have Marshall Lee. Come on. Transgression increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Listen. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Mm-hmm. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. Mm-hmm. Where there is no vision, the people perish. You hear that? Where there's no vision, the people perish. Come on. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Come on. A servant will not be corrected by words. Yeah. For though he understand, he will not answer. Mm. Come on. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? Yeah. There is more hope of a fool than of him. That's why, you, that's why Yahushua kept held his peace. Be quick to shoot your mouth. I say a fool will have a better chance than me. Come on. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child. Yeah. Shall have him become his son at the length. Pick me up. See if it's a... Uh, 28.16. Listen. The prince that wanteth understanding is also a great oppressor. Mm-hmm. But he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. Come on. See that? A man, Come on. A man that doeth violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit. Mm-hmm. Let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved. Yeah. But he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Yeah. 
He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, mm-hmm. but he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. Mm-hmm. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, mm-hmm. but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Yes. To have respect of persons is not good. Yes. For for a piece of bread that man will transgress. Mm-hmm. He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that poverty shall come upon him. See if it's 27, 16. Oh, that's right, too. Listen. Whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind, mm-hmm. and the ointment of his right hand, which, which berayeth itself. Mm-hmm. Iron sharpeneth iron, mm-hmm. so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Yes. Whoso keepeth a fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm-hmm. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Mm-hmm. As in water face answereth, as in water face answereth to face. Y'all hear that? As in water, what happens, son? Face answereth to face. Tell them what else happens, son. So the heart of man to man. That makes sense to y'all? He actually was telling you, just like if a man look in the water, he'll see the reflection of his face. A man's heart will show exactly where he at. He said, be the same thing. That's what Yahushua tried to tell you. He said, out of abundance of a man's heart, he going to speak. That tight, ain't it? Amen. Go look in the water if it give a reflection. It ain't going to lie. It's going to show you exactly what it see. Guess what a man's heart going to do? It's going to show you exactly what a man is. That's why we use this word. It works. Show everybody here where we at. On the day of Feast of Week, you know what happened? They hard showed what was in it. It cut them. It cut them. That's what exactly what it do. And the only way to be able to design or know the heart or to find out the intents of the heart is through the word. And a lot of times y'all not careful enough when y'all watch stuff y'all do. Y'all hard show y'all. A lot of times I tell y'all stuff, I say, you going to wind up doing this or this or that. I see this or this, this. Y'all think y'all don't. Y'all don't realize your heart will show you. When the word comes, we're going to show you up. Whether you're going to hear the call or not, that's the purpose of why we're here right here. And the reason why we're having a memorial of, and this is for memorial and this is for trumpet. We're remembering the trumpet. We're going to start to pay attention to some things. Y'all got me? Amen. That's the only purpose you hear is now you're going to start to look at some things. What's the importance of Zakharun, um tour? What's the purpose of it? Memorial. A memorial is the remembrance of something. Let's pick up and let's see what happened now. Pick me up at the book of um, Bamidbar. Bamidbar. We can clear that down. Bamidbar. Bamidbar, chapter 10. Verse 1. I know y'all ain't going to really pay attention when you read it. But just see where it go. Let's just see where we go with this. I think she's been so kind enough to make some coffee. Because I want to make sure. This, this, this is always my hope. Not just during the festive time. But whenever we come together, there's something being parted to the people. Because I just don't see it. If he's got a word for us, then we got to be able to pay attention make sure we hear it. In the book of Eob, he told us that he opened their ear. To discipline. That's the difference. He realized when he made man at the first, I wouldn't say realize, we've come into the realization. Let me say that better. That when man was made at the first, man, it wasn't open to discipline. Hmm? Everything he made, he told to come forth and it was so. He told things to recreate itself, replenish, and it was so. He says, good. Everything has been open to discipline except for man. You go to an apple tree. Apple tree ain't trying to be no gay orange tree. It ain't trying to be no gay plum tree or no hetero or no lesbian um, uh, lesbian grape tree. It's still trying to be because it's he said that's good. Let the living creatures in the ocean bring forth after its kind. He spake everything heard, but when it came to man, that ill the discipline is not there. It's not there. Then you can see, and that come through. Who who told us about this? Yeshua Yahoo. Their ears make them dull of hearing. Make it dull of hearing. It don't exactly cut. You get a dull knife, it's hard to cut. 
When the ear does, it's hard for it to focus and pay attention. And that's what we wind up getting. He already told, said, and make the heart of this people wax gross. And it's going to start to show. Y'all hear what happened? It's going to start to show. That heart going to start to show it. That's the purpose of the word. But see, y'all, what y'all don't realize, Yaakov already told us. He talked about it's like when a man behold his face in a well. Or we say in water, in reflection. Isn't that right? Because he'll see it and straightway he'll forget what man a man is. Because now he said it's the same way when you look at the law. The word going to show the heart. Because then the word is the spoken existence of Yahuwah. So now we start looking at the spoken word of Yahuwah, and then he spoke you into existence. Then there are things he said when you don't comply, it's going to cut you. It's going to get you. If you're in any other wise, the apostle Shaul told us that. He said, if we be any other mind, where he said? He said, Yahuwah will wind up showing it. In the book of Philippians chapter 3. He said, let everyone else be dust-minded. He said, but if you be any wise other-minded, he said, he'll even reveal that to you. A lot of times, that's what that, well, not, that's what the word comes to do. It shows us whether or not we're in compliance or we need to get in compliance. Yeah. It's always going to be one or the other. Either you're in it or you need to get in it. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happens. This is the 10th chapter. Y'all going to need some time. How the coffee coming? I'm not an advocate of all the coffee, but I'm an advocate of people making sure y'all get it right. So I do you an injustice if I don't tell you the right way. That's, that's, listen, that's me just running in vain. To sit here and teach you nothing is running back. Listen, I can shoot you in here and give you a couple of some um, Hebrew words right quick. Tell you how to spell them. And this, this is good right here. And then you learn brother and sister. Tell you something that the choir sing and send you out of here. That ain't enough to save you, though. That's not enough to say unless you get understanding. Right. Now, none of this is no good if you don't get understanding. The Hebrew words have absolutely no effect for you if you don't get understanding. Everything's got to tie into him. Let's just pay attention to Satan. Tenth chapter of the book of uh, uh, Bamidbar, 10 and 1. Listen. And Yahuwah spake unto Musha, saying, Make thee two trua of silver of a whole piece. He wanted him to make two pieces. Two pieces. And what happened, son? Of a whole piece. Of a whole piece. Shall thou make them, mm -hmm. that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly mm -hmm. and for the journeying of the camps. Mm -hmm. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Yeah. And if they blow but with one trumpet, mm -hmm. then the princes, which are heads of thousands of Yasharal, shall gather themselves unto thee. Mm -hmm. When ye blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. Mm -hmm. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. Mm -hmm. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you shall not sound an alarm. What happens, son? And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generation. Mm -hmm. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then you shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before Yahuwah, your Allahim. Yes. And ye shall be saved from your enemies. And you're going to be saved from your enemies. Come on. Also, in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days and in the beginning of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your shalom offerings, that they may be to you for a zakarun before your Allahim. All right, come on, son. I am Yahuwah, Find your Allahim. Like come on, son. And it came to pass on the 20th day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony. Mm -hmm. And the children of Yasharal took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. Mm -hmm. And they first took their journey according to the commandment of Yahuwah by the hand of Musha. Yeah. In the first place, when the standard of the camp of the children of Yehuda, according to their armies, and over his host was Nishan, the son of Amenadab. Mm -hmm. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nethaniel, the son of Zuar. Mm -hmm. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulon was Eliab, the son of Helon. Mm -hmm. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward bearing the tabernacle, 
and the standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elizur, the son of Shedeor, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shelomiel, the son of Zerishadadhai. Mm-hmm. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Deuel. That's good. Now, what we're looking at is the construction of him putting the horn together. And we'll find that there were two different horns that were constructed. He wanted them to take them two pieces and make it a whole piece. And it's going to be for the calling of assembly. It's going to be for the alarms. It's going to be called for the gathering of the people. This is going to be used for, um, this is going to be made for the journey of the camps. This is going to be made for your new moons. This is going to be made for your full moon. It's going to be for your calling. Or this is going to be calling for your feast days, your festive times. This is what it's going to be used for. This, let me the sixth chapter of the book of uh, Yahushua. Very interesting. Uh-oh. The book of Yahusha, the sixth chapter. I try to move y'all along. There'll be things you'll backtrack and you'll see. There'll be things you'll see as you go. But that's the purpose of you having a teacher. Listen to the book. Verse 1. Listen. Now Jericho was straightly shut up Mm -hmm. because of the children of Yahshua. Yeah. None went out and none came in. Yeah. And Yahuwah said unto Yahusha, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the Malak thereof and the mighty men of valor. Yeah. And ye shall compass the city all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. Mm -hmm. And seven priests shall bear before the ark Mm -hmm. seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city. What are they supposed to have now? Seven who? Seven trumpets of ram's horns. Now you see they have a ram's horn. They had a metal horn, and now you find they had a ram's horn too. And now he wanted them to take the ram's horn. What was supposed to happen? And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, mm-hmm. and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. Mm-hmm. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, what happens, son? and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, yeah. all the people shall shout with a great shout, yeah. and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. So you can see now the difference of when you had the horns. The metal horn, and then you find he had the ram's horn. Pick me up at the uh, sixth chapter of the book of uh, Yerim Yahu. Y'all should have the spelling we just spelled it. Yerim Yahu. Chapter six. We kind of just moving along, kind of just going about. See how all this stuff kind of work out. Isn't that right? Amen. One thing it got to do if it worked for our salvation. Isn't that right? This is the sixth chapter of the book of Yerim Yahu. Yarim Yahu, chapter 6, verse 1. Listen. O ye children of Benjamin, gather yourselves. 616, I apologize. 616. Listen. Thus said Yahuwah. Thus said Yahuwah. Stand ye in the ways. And do what, son? See. And what do you want me to do? Ask for the old path. Where's the who? Good way. And what happens, son? And walk therein. And when you do what? And ye shall find rest for your soul. And you shall find rest for your soul. What happens, son? But they said... We will not walk therein. He, they said, we will not walk therein. Come on. Also, I said, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Which means at that point, Zacharun. It's a memorial. Which means you need to remember. You need to be paying attention. You need to listen when you hear the sound of the trumpet. Now, that trumpet is going to teach you how you're going to walk. That trumpet going to be your direction. That trumpet going to be your salvation. But we missed that too, didn't we? We missed it. At the 81st Division of um, Tahalim. Tahalim. We can't just shoot through. Grasping and grabbing. Some folks say that he's just fishing for straws or whatever they say I'll be doing. 
but see if it's a conclusion to the matter. How many of y'all already got answers? That's the only time Buckshot said he got it. There you go, Buckshot. Listen to the book. Sing aloud unto Yahuwah. Sing aloud unto Yahuwah. Our strength. Our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the Allahim of Yaakov. Yes. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Listen. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Y'all hear what he told him to do? Blow up the trumpets in the new moon. In the time appointed. In the times appointed. On our solemn feast day. And on our solemn feast day. Uh-huh. For this was a statute for Yasharal yeah. and a law of the Allahim of Yaakov. Y'all hear that? He said it was a statute. He said and it was a law. We had to do it. Come on, son. Y'all don't be surprised. Go ahead. This he ordained in Yosef. Hold what you got. Other one. Why, I want you to finish reading that. Other one. Give me the book of Yucanon, uh, chapter 12. Hold me. Y'all gonna hold that for me. You can not chapter 12. Hold me about verse 33. He gonna finish what he read and we gonna pick that up. Listen. This he ordained in Yosef. This or, he ordained in, well, we don't know what his name because we know it ain't an O. Ain't that right? And it got an E in it too. So, you know, it's all the way wrong. Just call him Joseph. And it's all the way wrong that we get the right name. Come on. This he ordained in Joseph yeah. for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt. Y'all hear that? When he went out through the land of Egypt? What happened, son? Where I heard a language that I understood not. Y'all hear? Oh, now you know what's bad about that? They don't want to talk about that, do they? He said he heard a language. Then he did what now? Understood not. Now, he's supposed to be the Allahim of the Hebrews. He said, I didn't even understand the Aramaic stuff they were speaking. Why are we speaking Aramaic? Why are we speaking all these languages? He said, I didn't even understand it. When he came to Egypt, what a land they were speaking, he said, I don't speak that. You see why we got to get away from this captive language? Because he just testified. Now, when he came through Egypt, I didn't understand what them people were saying. Come on, son. I removed his shoulder. Look what he did. He said, I removed his shoulder. What happened, son? From the burden. See that? I pulled you from up under the burden of these people. What else happened, son? His hands were delivered. From the pots. His hand would deliver from the basket. You know what's amazing with that too? When Yahushua was sitting down, he told her the same one that dip, dip his hand with me. Say he the one gonna betray me. He just happened to be having his hand in the basket. They don't pay attention to stuff. Don't worry about it. There ain't nothing to worry about. Where you going, they ain't gonna be talking about no basket. They're gonna be talking about ice. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla ice, y'all be down. Huh? Ice, ice, baby. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. They like that jugger rocket. That was your song one time. What you used to break down? Don't worry, man. You used to, could you, could you on your, on your back? If I get some cardboard, you can do one move. Never, okay. Could you robot? What you used to do? Hammer? The butter man? The running man. Hold on for a minute. What's, what's the running man? Can we take a commercial break for I'm curious now. Pastor don't know. No, no, hold on. How's it going? Simple. I'm just, so what's, so what's the running man? What is it? Oh, you got false knees. Okay. But what is the running man? Oh, you run in place. Is that how you mess your knees up? No, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. Ottoman, okay. But you used to do it for that. A little bit of it. Was you good? Yeah. Hey, you, practice, oh, you had to practice a long time? Like four or five hours a day, weeks? No, it's, I, I said it's a running man. It's a what? It's a video. The running, I, I missed it. The running man, I remember, was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I think they called him. Oh. That's the last one I remember. <laughs> that about the last one I remember. That was good. I thought maybe we could see a little bit of how it went, but <laughs> unfortunately, with the knees. All right, that's so good. All right, come back. Commercial over. <laughs> Everybody go back to work. Come on. Let him finish up. Listen to what happened. He still got me. Y'all need to hold me. You, you can know in chapter 12, verse 33. Listen to what else happened. Thou callest in trouble. Hold on for a minute. What happened, son? Thou callest in trouble. Thou doth what now? Callest in trouble. What happened? And I delivered thee. And I delivered thee. 
I answered thee. I in, did what? Answered thee. Uh huh. In the secret place of thunder. At the twelfth chapter of the book of Eucanon, chapter twelve, verse thirty-three. This is the twelfth chapter of the book of Eucanon, chapter in verse thirty-three. Listen. This he said, signifying what death he should die. So bear me up at verse thirty. Listen what happened. Make it verse thirty-one. Listen. Now is the judgment of this world. Uh huh. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. What happens, son? And I, if I be lifted up from what the ritz, uh huh, will draw all men unto me. Yeah. This he said, signifying what death he should die. Uh huh. The people answered him, We have heard out of the law that Mashiach abideth forever. Yeah. And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Come on, son. Who is this Son of Man? Yeah. Then Yahusha said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Yeah. Walk while ye have the light, mm -hmm. lest darkness come upon you. Yes. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. Mm -hmm. While ye have light, believe in the light, come on. that ye may be the children of light. Mm -hmm. These things spake Yahusha, and departed, and did hide himself from them. But though he had done so, so many miracles back before up, them. Back me up to verse 26. Listen. If any man serve me... Let him follow me, mm -hmm. and where I am, there shall also my servant be. Mm -hmm. If any man serve me, him will my Abba honor. Mm -hmm. Now is my soul troubled, mm -hmm. and what shall I say? Abba, save me from this hour, mm -hmm. but for this cause came I unto this hour. Mm -hmm. Abba, glorify thy name. Yeah. Then came there a voice from Shamayim saying, came there a what now? A voice from where? Shamayim. What happened? Saying, I have both glorified it. And what else happened? And will glorify it again. So what happened at that point? The people, therefore, that stood by and the, heard the it. The people that did what now? That stood by. The people that was doing what now? That stood by. What did they do? And heard it. What did they say? Said that it thundered. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Shall I tell you, folks, they don't know nothing about that man? Y'all have, have no idea about that man, do you? Y'all don't know why them people sat there and said, it did thunder. Because I answered in front of the secret place. A lot of times, y'all don't know stuff. Y'all let your heart get too overdrammed and too over, overindulged in other stuff and your problems and other stuff y'all got in correction and other stuff. It'll hurt y'all. That man be working the whole time while people doing that stuff. That man working. That man, what are they, they going to do with that? Go tell to your father. Probably said, what, said, why do you folk thought that thunder? <laughs> See, the Lord work in mysterious ways. Is that what he told you? Because everything he did, you can verify and you can show that in the scripture. That's how the man worked. These people don't know nothing. That's why I try to tell all the time. The people don't know anything about this man. They really don't know anything about him. I had 114th division of the song, uh, Talahim. We try to keep y'all moving a little bit. They eyes will wake up when they start to kind of see something out the wire, huh? That was just bonus. That ain't really where we're trying to go anyway, but that's just bonus for you. But it just show you how little people know about him. Right. Just like he told them, we watch these storms come through, we'll call them um, Hurricane Magnum or whatever name. It meant, I put the, he had his way in the whirlwind. Why we go around these people's names? We're supposed to know him. He don't do nothing except he revealed his servant to part with me. We should know this. This time I heard that, mm, he answered that man from the secret place. With me, I don't understand their speech. They don't understand mine either. Put you right back to Babel. He said, when I came through, I didn't know what them people were talking about. 114 of his psalm at verse 1. Listen. When Yasharal went out of Egypt, yeah. the house of Yaakov from a, the house of Yaakov from a people of strange language. Uh oh. What they said? What happened now? When Yasharal went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language. When our fathers went over into Egypt, when Joseph was talking, we didn't know what they were talking about. He didn't understand. I, he knew I was speaking because he came from us. We know how to communicate with them people. Just like when these people took us here, these people are people of strange speech. We didn't know just like all of him, we came. He said, I don't know what these people are talking about. I don't understand they speak, and his people wouldn't understand them as well. Mm. That's the same thing he tried to tell them when he tried to speak to our father. He was trying to tell them, folks, it's because my word don't have no place in you. Mm. He tried to let them know, so you don't understand my speech. Mm. 
That's how a lot of y'all get hung up on stuff that wind up hurting you later on in life because y'all let too many other things going on and y'all don't set that the practicality of you got to know the word, how he operates. Y'all had y'all own way, y'all own thing. That's the problem he tried to tell Yashua before. He said, you got a zeal, but ain't according to knowledge. Because they being ignorant of his right, what do you go about to do? Stand for your own right. Here you don't have E say here and clearly tell you, he said we ain't supposed to eat and we ain't supposed to touch it. But what did you wind up doing? So you got a zeal, but it ain't according to no right. It ain't according to no knowledge. Because you being ignorant of my right, you went about to establish your own right. I'd have made you while you just waited. I'd have gave you sight you to wait it. A lot of stuff hurt us in life. A lot of stuff hurt us in life. The way of y'all, y'all didn't transgress. A lot of stuff hurt us in life. When stuff gets y'all, y'all can't even focus. Y'all basically show y'all the whole time. Can't even focus. It just take y'all all the way out. You just can't think now. Stuff can't get you. The word comes to show you your heart. You got to push past your heart to get yourself saved. All right. Y'all have too much going on. Y'all fight. Y'all fight destruction. Y'all fight correction. Y'all invite life. How you going to be saved? Mm. Being saved is all about instructions. That's what we're told in the garden. But when you go past that, you're in the same dilemma that we always been in. How are you going to be delivered? Being delivered by Yahushua is going to involve deliverance, and that's only going to come through by his word. He's not sending him to deliver. He did not send him to deliver anybody that's not in obedience. The people he's coming to get are the people that's going to hear his word. That's right. Hearing his word is going to be equivalent to you hearing the trumpets. That's right. That's why he said, also, I sent watchmen. I put shepherds over them. Telling you to hearken, stop what you're doing when you hear the sound of the trumpets. That's why everybody stopped what they're doing now. And he said, you know what? There needs to be a memorial remembrance. Made it on a Shabbat. Stop everything you're doing. Which means you have already should know this anytime you hear the preach word. Mm. Not just doing this time. Anytime you're instructed concerning behaviors. Remember the trumpet. Remember the trumpet. When the voice cried and tell you what to do, you're supposed to listen. I don't said what told you to stand in the ways of see. When you do, ask. Who you gonna ask? Ask the instructor. Where's the good way? When you find it, walk in. He said, also, I put watchmen over. I put somebody in charge. And I told you to hearken to the sound of the trumpet. You're supposed to know when it's talking to you. People hear stuff. He told you distinctly. When these trumpets sound, one, let the leaders come. Did he tell me to come? You're supposed to know the trumpet. Each side is supposed to know when they're supposed to move. You're supposed to know the difference. And the person brought the trumpet, let them know, let them know when it's an alarm. Let them know when danger is near, when something about to overtake them. Let them know when it's for gladness. Let them know when it's for feasting. Let them know when the new moon is coming. Let them know when it's for the call of sin. You need to know all these different things, which means you got to have some information concerning the word. And a lot of times, y'all, it's such a detriment. People wait for this to get over so they can get back to what they're doing. And it's similar to the same thing of you not being obedient. All you're going to do is be obeying long enough so you can get right back to what you've been doing. Mm. That's the problem. That's why he stopped us. They come in and you're supposed to remember. Remember the sound of the trumpet. Remember the, the Zakarun, the Zakarun, the Torah. You're supposed to remember it. Y'all all right? Amen. It's tight. It's tight because a lot of stuff we really don't consider. We, don't, we really didn't consider him to the, to the aspect of looking at little things you don't know are going to hurt you. Simple little something like the thunder. Why do people say the thunder? I mean, because people stupid. That's it. Because he was answering out of his secret place. Meaning, that's why it's so important for us to get back to the language so we can identify. Mm. You got to think about them. When they heard it, that's all it sounded like to me, a bunch of thunder. But when he clearly was interpreted by Yuyukanon, he said, I'll both glorify it and will glorify it again. He didn't write down thunder. He wrote down which means I understand his language. He did not translate thunder. He said that people stood around and said it thunder. But he translated exactly what he said. 
Which means that's the importance of having somebody that listens. Give me the book of Kabakuk. What I want, brother? Habakkuk. Uh oh, I'm messing up now. I'll throw that E on now. They must try to ease a little nigga or something on me. Kabakuk. That's the name for Habakkuk. For Habakkuk. His name is not Habakkuk. His name is Kabakuk. Y'all got me? Kabakuk. Kaba. Felicia, you know you look at that TV out there if you can't see. She blind with glasses on. That's a double negative. How you blind? How you can't see with glasses? That TV out there now, y'all can see. Y'all don't be, y'all write down something wrong. Y'all don't try to be pretty now. Y'all going out there if y'all can't see it. Y'all need to get this. Make sure y'all have it. Because we go and we keep going. Just know this. I'm not going to be writing it down forever. Once y'all got it, I'm going to be calling them, and we're going to be getting them. For the people watching, you're going to be calling, going to get them. I ain't going to be talking about that such and such. When I call them, you know how to get them. Hebrew. We've been using that now because we're trying to break a crippling. Yeah. So I had to say, okay, that's this is this. Oh, that's that. That's Once we start getting it, y'all got it. Understand, we're going to move away from this. Even the book told us we got to move on from this and move on to perfection. This is the elementary principle stuff. Two and one. Listen. I will stand upon my watch. So he told you also I said watchman over them. Look what happened, son. And set me upon the tower. You see that? So he set me up on high. He set me upon the tower. What happened, son? And will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what happened, son? And what I shall answer when I am reproved. He told her before that the father gave me a commandment. Abba gave me a commandment on what I should say and what I should do. So we look at Kabakuk. Kabakuk is referring to him. He said he's going to stand upon a towel. And he set me upon the towel. And I'm looking to see what I'm going to answer when he questioned me. And what I should say when I'm reproved. And what did he say, son? And Yahuwah answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Or we'll say the, the, the kahala, the kahala, which is going to be the lectures. And that right? We're going to look at the lectures, the instructions. So he's going to write down the lectures. And what he said? That he may run that readeth it. For? The vision is yet for an appointed time. And at the who? And it shall speak. And not? Lie. They know y'all need to pay attention. The book of Kahalath told you to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Because this is the whole duty of man. Y'all all right? Amen. Something. It's something. The book of. After a while, they'll pick it up anyway. Tell them what book that is, brother. Man. Go ahead. Y'all who all. That's the book of, they call Joel. His name is not Joel. His name is Yah U All. Yah U All. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Listen to the book. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. He told you to blow ye the trumpet in Zion. He asked you to tell him to blow the ram's horn. And where? And in Zion. And sound. And alarm in my Kudash mountain. So letting them know when the alarm went off, it was danger. Something was going on. He just told them to sound an alarm. What happened? Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah. For the day of Yahuwah cometh. Y'all hear that? He wanted all the inhabitants of the land to tremble for the day of Yahuwah cometh because the day of Yahuwah had come. Now, we'll go now. We'll start to look at a couple of things. Y'all think we can do that? 
Jump over now and give me the 19th chapter of the book of your Yukonon. Other brother, you give me Barashit, chapter 2. Hold that for me. Now we'll start trying to put a call on it, see if we'll walk the dog. This is the 19th chapter of the book of Barah, oh, I'm sorry, 19th chapter of the book of Yukonon. 19, ah, 28, let's see that site. Woo, that's bad, duck. That was a yarn. Don't worry about it. I don't know what it smells like. Hopefully it don't smell where it came from. Come on, it's 1928. Listen. After this, Yahusha, knowing that all things were now accomplished. He knowing that all things were now accomplished. That the scripture might be fulfilled. Yeah. He said, Fulfilled said, I thirst. Mm -hmm. Now there was said a vessel full of venom. I hear that? He knowing that all things had been what now? Fulfilled. What he say now? I thirst. He knowing that all things had done what? Scripture might be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Said, I thirst. He said, I thirst. Well, we just touch on that a little bit right here. Give me Shaphatim, chapter 15, verse 14. Let's see what that say. What book is that, brother? Judges. Judges. That's what they're called, judges. And actually, for us, it will be vindicator. It will be judge or vindicator. Y'all got it? Because a judge can also vindicate you. Judge or vindicator. Listen. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. What happened? And the spirit of Yahuwah came mightily upon him. Yeah. And the cords that were upon his arms what happened to him? became as flax that was burnt with fire. Come on, son. And his bands loose from off his hands. What happened? And he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand. What did he find, brethren? He found a woman preacher, a dead woman preacher with her mouth open. That help her die telling lies with her mouth open. So he took her jawbone. What did he do? And put forth his hand and, and took it. And took forth his hand and snatched the woman preacher's jaw out. Come on. And slew a thousand men therewith. And they kill them every Sunday. <laughs> Come on. And they are still working. Every Sunday. <laughs> and they are still killing them. All jawbone. Come on. And Shamshun said, with the jawbone of an ass. With the jawbone of a woman preacher. Heaps upon heaps. Heap them out and stack these jokers up. What happened, son? With the jaw of an ass have I slain a thousand men. With a woman preacher mouth. I done killed a thousand men. Come on. And it came to pass. What happened, son? When he had made an end of speaking. When he did what now? Made an end of speaking. So when he was through, when he knew he was done, what happened? That he cast away the jawbone out of his hand. He threw the woman preacher out of his hand. And called that place Ramoth Lehi. Yes. And he was sore athirst. Because it was called heaps upon heaps. That he was so what now? He was sore athirst. What did it happen? And called on Yahuwah. And he called on Yahuwah. And said. What, he's poss what could he possibly tell him? Thou hast given this great deliverance. He knowing that all things had been accomplished. What happened? Thou hast given this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant. What happened? And now shall I die for thirst. Now you can see why he told him he thirst. Because he knew all things was accomplished. And they when he got him there, he didn't wind up dying from not having something to drink. That was not how he was supposed to die. But you won't need to know that. And only you need to know this because Matthew Yahoo, the fourth chapter, clearly told you that he shall be called a Nazarene. After, after his name, Shamshun, that is his name, not Samson. His name is Shamshun. Not Samson. Back at the 19th chapter. That's just extra. We didn't even want to deal with that. But since we were there. They don't even know why he was asking for nothing to drink. They don't even know why he was asking for nothing to drink. Hmm? See, that's why he messed people up. At the first, when they tried to give him something to drink, what did he do? Ryan, you remember? Y'all remember? Ryan, he wouldn't drink it. Because the law had already told him what to do. When they got time, he almost died, though, from being thirsty. 
He said, you don't gave me that. He said, he, little when he asked, when he knew all things had been completed. That's why he asked for it. It didn't make sense to die from thirst. That wouldn't have made sense. Little stuff that don't make sense to y'all, it makes sense to him. So now when you keep going through and you look at all these people, I keep telling you, we will call all these people, what I told we will call them? The moon. Because they were not that light. The moon actually gets its light from the sun. So the reflection from the sun bounces off the moon, the light. So when you read all these people, all you're reading is the moon. Same thing he tried to tell you in Eucanon chapter 1. There was a man that sent named Eucanon. He, but he was sent. So what lets us know that the sun is still there? When you look at the moon and you see that light. Hmm? Now we're here in a new moon. We're here in a new moon. We'll get to that. Listen, back at the 19th chapter of the book of uh, your Yukonai, where you at, verse 30? 29. 29, come on. And there, was a, and there was set a vessel full of vinegar. Yeah. And they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop. Yeah. And put, and put it to his mouth. Yeah. When Yahushua therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. He said, it is finished. What happened, son? And he bowed his head. And gave up the Ruach. Yes. The Yahudim, therefore, because it was a preparation uh -huh. that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Shabbat day. Y'all hear that? Because it should remain on the, on the cross on the Shabbat day. For that Shabbat day was in high day. Y'all hear that Shabbat day was what was it? In high day. It was a high day. Besought Pilate that their legs might be broken. Yeah, that their legs might be broken. And that they might be taken away. And that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first. They broke the legs of the who? First. And then who else? And of the other which was crucified with him. And what happened? But when they came to Yahushua. What happened? And saw that he was dead already. What happened? They break not his legs. They wouldn't break his legs. Come on, son. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. And what happened, son? And forthwith came there out blood and water. What happened? And he that saw it bear record. Was he lying? And his record is true. He tried to tell you. I ain't lying when I tell y'all this. Come on, son. And he knoweth that he said, that he says true. Come on, son. That he might believe. Come on, son. For these things were done that the scriptures should be fulfilled. Like what? A bone of him shall not be broken. Pick him up, son, if y'all would. Pick me up at the book of Barashit. We're going to just jump and just hit quick. We'll try to run through Barashit chapter 2. I told y'all to hold that for me. Barashit chapter 2. 2 and 19 be fine. Some kind of way we put this together. Other brother, uh, you hold me Romans 1 and 1 right quick. Listen. This is Barashit chapter 2. At verse 19, he'll hold me Romans 1 and 1. Listen. And out of the ground, Allahim formed every beast of the field mm -hmm. and every fowl of the air mm -hmm. and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature. Tell me what happened. That was the name thereof. That's what it was. Come on, son. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. Talk to me, son. And Allahim called the deep sleep to fall upon Adam, mm -hmm. and he slept. And he took one of the, his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Mm -hmm. And the rib which Allahim had taken from man. Tell him what he did. Made he a woman. He made what? What did he make? Made he a woman. Talk to me, son. And brought her unto the man. Tell me, son. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. What happened, son? She shall be called woman. Talk to me, son. Because she was taken out of man. Talk to me, son. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. And do what, son? Cleave unto his wife. Yes. And they shall be one flesh. And they shall do what? Be one flesh. At Romans chapter 1 right quick. Romans chapter 1 verse 1. Oh, when you hold me uh, that uh, by 10 and 1. Let's see if we put this together. Y'all know what? I wish, I wish I had a gift to be able to get the book and hear something and could figure out exactly how it go. It could kept make it where it can make sense. I'm working on that. It's got to be some kind of courses. 
Let's see what he said. This is Romans 1 and 1. Listen. Shaul, a servant of Yahushua HaMashiach. What happened? Called to be an apostle. Called to be an apostle. Separated unto the gospel of Elohim. Yes. Which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Kudash scriptures. Talk to me, son. Concerning his son, Yahushua HaMashiach, our Elohim, which was made of the seed of Daud according to the flesh, and declared to be the son of Elohim with power, according to the spirit of Kudash. Talk by, to me, son. According by the to res- the spirit of who? Kudash. Uh-huh. By the resurrection of, from the dead. Talk to me, son, in the book of Bar... But Midbar, 10 and 1. Come on, son. 10 and 1. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Do what? Make thee two trumpets of silver. Y'all paying attention. What you want me to do? Of a whole piece shall thou make them. They missed that. Y'all missed that when I went on that and told you about Adam and Eve, didn't you? Adam was son of God. He was son of man. He said, it's called shall a man leave his father money and clear their wall. He said, there ain't going to be no more two. He said, we're going to be one. That's why I told you about his genealogy. He was made of the seed of Daoud according to the flesh. But he was glad to be the son of y'all with power. So all I did was just make one piece. Mm-hmm. When he tried to tell y'all, therefore, what he had joined together, let not man. That's why when they came to him, they, they had to find him already dead. If you break it, you just broke what he put together. Yeah. Y'all don't know what y'all be doing. I run this stuff. Then when I listen, I do this for play, play time. This, this, this ain't even hard. I knew y'all been sleep going. We ain't even went nowhere. Y'all folk don't know what y'all be. I told y'all I don't know nothing about this man. You actually thought there was a story about his trumpet? Pick my son at the book of you, you can know, uh, chapter one. They don't pay attention. I put, listen, I pull it all out for you. All they got to do is give me a little time. Huh? They can come get me if y'all once y'all come out of captivity. You know what you come get me? Come skill. I'm skilled what I do now. They don't know nothing about it. You know, they thought that whole thing was about, you didn't pay attention. I just taught y'all about that. Adam was son of God. She had to be son of man. I taught y'all in the sixth chapter of the book of Barashit. When the sons of God saw that the daughters of men would fail. They all took, they took by whom they chose. What are they going to do with that? Y'all come in my class sleep. Y'all to burn in hell. Y'all playing here. Y'all don't get, this man do so much stuff people miss. Y'all actually think it was about him not break. Of course you read the 17th chapter. Let me tell you how he gets you. Some of you guys think you so smart because you found one thing. In the 17th chapter of the book of Dabarim, you're going to find he told you about not having any ill favoredness. It couldn't have a crook spine, anything broken. That was true, but that was enough to let a fool think he found something. You were going to miss this the whole time, though. You were going to miss it. We're going to have to build a whole piece. Only way you're going to take two, you took a man and you put your hood and put him as one. Two, and you made him one. That's what Adam tried to tell him. You still put him back because it didn't make no difference. They still come out from him. He said, because she came out from me. Where did man come from, Dave? He came from your hood. Let's pick them up, son. This is the first chapter of your Yukonon. 128. Listen to the book. These things were done in Bethabara, yes. beyond Jordan, where Yaukonon was baptizing. Talk to me, son. The next day, the Yaukonon. The next when, son? Day. Ne- last week. The next day. Tell them what happened, son. Yaukonon seeth Yahusha coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of Yahuwah. The who? The Lamb of Yahuwah. Only reason he was going to tell you about this because you need to have a ram's horn. That was the only reason he was going to tell you about him being a lamb. You had two trumpets. He had to be up there. He had to be one whole piece. Now you got to explain to me how you're going to get your ram's horn. Right here when he told you, behold, the next day when he see it coming. He said, behold, the Lamb of whose son? Yahuwah. Which doth what? Taketh away the sin of the world. Not only was he going to be atoning on Passover, but he also was going to cover you when you need your ram's horn. I love them y'all go to sleep because you think you know what you know. Y'all don't know nothing. The book told you, any man think you know, you don't know nothing like you ought to know. I don't know how y'all come here and sleep playing because you don't know nothing. This man working all the, on the, on the cross, these folk miss all this. They missed it. 
Because they were trying to figure where the ram horn. Who, who else going to cover itself like that? Who else going to cover itself like that? Let me show you how the man just worked. Pick me up at the 27th chapter. Hold on, you give me a little more of that. The next day, Yahuqanah see it, Yahushua coming, and he said, Behold the Lamb of who? Yahuwah. Which taketh away? The sin of the world. This is who? He of whom I said. After me. Cometh the man. Who was what? Preferred before me. Because he was. Before me. What happened, son? And I knew him not. And what happened? But that he should be made manifest to Yahshuaq. Listen, what happened? Therefore am I come baptizing with water. What happened, son? And Yahuqanah bear record saying, I saw the Ruach descending from Shamayim like a dove, and it abode upon him. What happened, son? And I knew him not. I ain't even know him. But what happened, son? He that sent me to baptize with water. He that did what? Sent me to baptize with water. He that sent me to do what? Baptize with water. What did he do? The same said unto me. The same did what? Said unto me. So the same said unto who? Me. What he told me? Upon whom thou shalt see the Ruach descending and remaining on him. What happened, son? The same as he which baptizes with the Ruach HaKadosh. So I understood what he said. When he spoke to me, I understood what he said. He didn't say the same one that spoke to me in thunder. Same one spoke to me and told me. That's how I knew he was. I ain't never seen Yahushua with my natural eye. But the same man sent me to preach the gospel. I could pick him out though when I see him. I guarantee that I could pick him out when I see him. When I read that book, I know where he at. Yeah. That sure well not the man sent you. You know why they, I know why I asked, I said, y'all already know where I'm going, I'll give you the pen and let you do that. Because I could be going somewhere having some other folk that don't know. I definitely ain't trying to be the older man to hold a job. But y'all, look, you don't even know what's going on. Let me show you something right quick. 27th chapter of the book of Matthew, y'all. 27th, 38th, they missed all that. That's why a bone of him should not be broken. Because I told you, you put that trumpet together, it's supposed to be one piece. And you don't join it together. I don't want it. Don't let man separate it. Who was gonna wind up breaking the leg? Man was gonna wind up breaking it. Mm. Took you back, and you should have recognized that when I told you about the marriage. See everything top. I told you, you gotta go back to the beginning. Mm. Why he told you to stand in the ways to see? Ask for the who? Old path. Where's the what? Good way. Well, you go back to you go back to the old path. He said, this is a good way. He, just like I told you that Mary, don't break it. Don't break that trumpet. Yes, sir. That's right. Because it's supposed to be for a memorial. Yeah. It's supposed to be for a memorial. I gave you two trumpets. I'm showing you how two can be one. Just like I put the man and the woman together. I'm showing you how two can be one. This is 2738. Listen to the book. Then were there two thieves crucified with him. Talk to me, son. One on the right hand, yeah. another on the left. Man, listen to him. Hey, and man, let me tell y'all something. Just truthfully. Y'all have no idea what all that man been doing. Y'all have no idea. Y'all got me? Y'all just ain't got no idea what all he be doing. I know. Come on. Y'all can say, just like uh, Shaul said, he did good, he left not himself without a witness. Right. Y'all know, he did good, that he left not himself without a witness. Listen to the book. And they that passed by mm -hmm. reviled him, wagging their heads. Yes. And saying, Thou that destroyest the temple. What happened, son? And buildest it in three days. Mm -hmm. Save thyself, if thou be the son of Yahuwah. Come on, son. Come down from the cross. Yes, son. Likewise, also the chief priests, mocking him, mm -hmm. but the scribes and elders, said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. Yeah. If he be the Malak of Yasharal. Yeah. Let him now come down from the cross. And what happened, son? And we will believe him. Uh huh. He trusted in Yahuwah. What happened, son? Let him deliver him now. If he'll do what? If he will have him. Come on, son. For he said, I am the son of Yahuwah. Yeah. The thieves also, which were crucified with him. What did they do? Cast the same in his teeth. Listen. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land. Yeah. Until the ninth hour. Come on, son. And about the ninth hour, Yahushua cried with a loud voice. What happened? Saying, Aliyahu, Aliyahu, Lama Sabatana. That is to say, my, my Allahim, my Allahim, yeah. why hast thou forsaken me? Which, that's for God. Al Ahim. For those that don't know, Al Ahim is for God. Yahuwah is his name. This for God. We don't use God. We use all Ahim, 
but use his name when it refers to his name. Now, from the sixth to the ninth hour, there were darkness over all the land. He cried out uh, concerning him, saying, why has thou forsaken me? What happened, son? Some of them that stood there, mm -hmm. when they heard that, said, this man calleth for Ali Yahu. That's what they thought he called for all Yah, all All Yahoo, which is the name and not Elijah, which means Yah is my God. That's what they heard him call it. What happened, son? And straightway, one of them ran and took a sponge. And did what? And filled it with vinegar. And did what? And put it on a reed and gave him to drink. Yeah. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Al Yahu will come to save him. Yeah. Yahusha, when he had cried again, with a loud voice. What did he do? Yielded up the Ruach. Y'all hear that? When he cried again a loud voice, he reeled up the, the, um, the uh, Ruach. Listen. And behold, the veil, of, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from and the top. The, the, twel the veil of the temple was rent from the twain from the top? It was rent into two? Which means he didn't put it together, but it was separated. Come on. To the bottom. Yeah. And the wrist did quake. And the wrist did what? Quake. Pick me up again at that 114 division of Talahim. You hold me what you got right there. Okay. I'm going to get ready and try to clean y'all up and let y'all go. This all right, though. Amen. Amen. Mm. We still miss something else. We're going to get it. I just had to show y'all something right quick. This is, um, make that um, y'all who all, chapter two. I'm sorry, y'all who all, chapter two. That's what they call Joel, y'all who all, chapter two. Two and one. Listen. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. A sound what? An alarm in my Kudash mountain. What happened? Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Let all the inhabitants of the who? Of the land tremble. Let all the inhabitants of the what? Of the land tremble. How are they going to tremble? I made the earthquake. Some people don't get scared. So I don't say let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. All I do is make the earthquake. They don't pay attention to nothing. That's all I do. I made the earthquake. Hmm? I'll show y'all something else. That uh, 81st chapter of the book of Talahim, 81 and 1. Mm. I've been working on the railroad, land track, all the little long thing. 81 and 1. Talahim, 81 and 1. Listen. Sing aloud unto Yahuwah, our strength. Other brother, you get me, uh, Yasha Yahu, 5th, 8 and 1. So I think I'm going to work both of y'all. I should be able to work both of y'all out. That's how we do this here. He's going to get me Yasha Yahu. Fifty-eight and one. And he's going he got me um matter of fact, let's go ahead and get Yeshua Yahu fifty eight and one. Mm. You hold what you got in Talahim eighty one. And that means they're gonna put you back on that brand you had to get that twenty seven chapter for me of the book of Matthew Yahoo. Twenty seven. What verse you left out, Andre? Fifty what? Say back me up by forty seven. Forty nine. Forty eight, where you left off at? Well, back me up about 50, verse 50. Verse 50. So you back me up about verse 46, Brandon. Hold that for me. 27, 47. Let's see if we can work all this out right quick, all right? Get, like I said, let's work the kinks out. All right, this is 58 and 1. He's holding me to 81. Y'all need to hold this. We're going to use Yeshua Yahoo, 58 and 1. Then we're going to go to Talahim, 81. And we're going to come back and see if we can clean up the 27th chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. Listen. Cry aloud. Cry who? Aloud. Cry who? Aloud. And what he want me to do? Spare not. What you want me to do? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And do what? Shoot my people their transgression. So now you're going to find something he did in the 27th chapter. What did he do? Cry aloud. He wound up crying aloud. He wound up lifting up his voice mm. like a trumpet. That's why he had to be the ram, the lamb of Yahuwah. 
since he was Yahuwah or uh, Allahim and man that covered your one piece trumpet. That's right. <laughs> that's only they, that's only written on him. Had to cover himself. He cried two times. You just didn't catch it. Told him to lift up his like a trumpet. That way you could see your transgression. And we were blowing that trumpet. You know what voice we heard? In Zion. Yep. Huh? He covered himself too in the tent chapter. You weren't supposed to blow it two times. That's it alone. They don't know what they're doing with their book. Yes, Yahoo already said, said, cry aloud. Spell not. Lift up your voice. Like a trumpet. And shoot my people. Their transgression. See, I'm showing you, you've been missing it. That's your transgression. You've been missing this. Yeah. They say him put the man up. Carver Koo tried to tell y'all about him. He said he set me upon a tower. I did put him up on a high place. Put him on a two. I was trying to see what I'm going to answer. When I'm reproved. He told you to write the vision. Make it plain. So you see it. You can run. Because see this vision. This was for an appointed time. That Isaiah 58 and 1. That was for an appointed time. Just like that ram's horn. Just like for that trumpet. It was for a memorial. That's why I need you to remember this. This is why you need to know this. This was for a memorial. You need to know about this trumpet. When I set this man upon the tower. And he's going to see what he's going to answer when he's reproved. This is reproved why I got him up on the two. This is your picture form. Right. This is your ancient form for it. That's your signature. This was his signature. When you come back and look through the book, you see his signature. Now, he still got me that 27th chapter of the book of uh, Matthew Yahoo. Let's go ahead and get this 81st chapter of the book of uh, Talahim. 81, and what, what verse we left out? Verse 2? Verse 1. Oh, I, we left, you finished verse 1, didn't you? Oh, you had some still left? Amen. All right, come on. Sing aloud unto Yahuwah, yeah. our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the Allahim of your cold. Yeah, Take well, a song. Like nothing to you. It was good to him. Who is that? Why you think he called his name? Come on. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel. The pleasant heart with a psaltery. Uh -huh. And you hold me that 19th chapter of the book of your of your you cannot for me. 19 and about 30, 33 for me. 32. So hold that for me. So I'm trying to finish up over here with them. Listen. Blow up the trumpet in the Rosh Kodash in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. In our time appointed. In our time what? On our solemn feast day. That's right. On our solemn feast day. What else? For this was a statute for Yasharal. And a law of the Allahim of Jacob. Mm -hmm. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard a language. Hold on for a minute. Back me up. When he tell him to blow the when he tell him to blow up the trumpets? Blow up the trumpet in the Rosh Kudash in the appointed time. What on our solemn Kudash. What does it say? New moon. Nigga, I like to knock that motor. If I had a brick, I'd have knocked that motorcycle off your head. I'm saying, saying, how you come up with what you want to do? Set your behind down. Cut your mic off. I want you to read nothing else today. What is wrong with this boy? I'm simply saying, what is he? What did he read? How did you come up with that on your own? I had it, Rosh Kodash. I had it in my notes for New Moon. Rosh, you had it for New Moon. I gave y'all that. Oh, well, hi. Oh, well. He said, long time ago? How much stuff I get? Long time ago, I baptized y'all in Jesus. Won't you just read Jesus? I apologize. David, you want to start reading? Huh? You're not on point yet. You get it. Yeah. Or you get your prize. Come on, don't worry about it. Let them go. You just set yourself still. Brandon, that means you got to read two places between y'all. I'm finna go to doing jail. <laughs> 81 and 2. And you had to get me, you jumped, Matthew, Matthew Yahoo, child, you cut your mic off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. What is wrong with this fella? 
I get, he said, "Why?" Well, I said, "Now, <coughs> eighty-one, and what was that verse? Verse two? three. Verse, verse three. three. Yes, sir. Then before you read, I ain't even have no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna read what it say. <laughs> he got Matthew, Yahoo, chapter twenty-seven, forty-five. Verse. Then I want nineteen. Uh, you, you can hunt chapter nineteen about verse thirty-three. I might have to get my blood pressure killed. Just watch me right now, in a minute. Just in a minute. All right, listen to the book. 81 and 3. Listen. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Blow up the trumpet in the wind. In the new moon. Mm -hmm. In the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Mm -hmm. For this was a statute for Yasharal. Yeah. And a law of the Allahim of Yaakov. Y'all hear that? That was a law. Y'all hear that? Right the book of Matthew, Yahoo, chapter 27, 45. Other one got me, your Yucca chapter 19, verse 33. Listen. Now from the sixth hour. Now there from was the when? Sixth hour. To when? There was darkness over all the land. Pay attention. Until, there was darkness over all the land. Until the ninth hour. Until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour. And about the what time? Ninth hour. What happened, son? Yahushua cried with a loud voice. He cried. Well, y'all be all right. Give me an ED. Y'all know. Put cry, cry, whatever, whatever. Which could actually, they're right. This ain't my stuff anyway. Now we'll get them the name that they try to use in a way, anyway. How do they spell it in the way they do? Because now you look at crying. A name they try to use, you could try to use that in a sense because he's crying. I say cried. Ninth hour. First time. Go ahead, son. Saying, Aliyahu, Aliyahu, mm-hmm. by my Sabbathanai. Yeah. That is to say, my Allahim, yeah. my, my Allahim, mm-hmm. why has thou forsaken me? Yeah. Some of them that stood there. When they heard that said, this man called for Al Yahu. They called for Al Yahu. Al Yahu, come on. And straightway, one of them ran and took a sponge. Yeah. And filled it with vinegar. Yeah. And put it on a reed mm-hmm. and gave him to drink. Now, would I suggest you write it down? No. Come on. The rest said, Let be. Let us see whether Al Yahu will come to save him. What happened, son? Yahusha, when he had cried again with a loud voice. When he had cried again with a loud voice. Yielded up the Ruach. He yielded up the Ruach. Uh-huh. And behold, the veil of the temple was written in twain from the top to the bottom. Well, let's stop right there. And let you come over to your Yucanine chapter 19. Verse 32. Listen. Then came the soldiers... And break the legs of the first. So back me up a little bit. Verse 29. Come on. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar. Mm-hmm. And they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon his up. Yes. And put it to his mouth. Mm-hmm. When Yahusha therefore had received the vinegar. What happened? He said, it is finished. Come on. And he bowed his head and gave up the Ruach. Yeah. The Yahudim, therefore, because it was the preparation. The Yahudim, because it was the what? Preparation. The Yahudim, because it was the what? The preparation. Tell them what it is, son. That the body should not remain upon the cross on the Shabbat day. It should not do what now? Should not remain upon the cross on the Shabbat day. Tell them why, Brandon. For that Shabbat day was in high day. The reason why I had him to go to this? Because y'all should have paid attention. When he cried at the ninth hour, it was dark, which would have gave him his new moon. The only reason you're going to have that because the sun, when you have a new moon, the sun blocks the moon out. That's how you get a new moon. There's no light. That's what he tried to tell y'all about the book of Amos. Or Moose. He tried to tell you, should it be darkness and no light in it? So when he was crying, he was trying to show you a new moon. The reason he cried the second time, because they just told you why. We need to get him down because it's a high day coming. So he was supposed to blow it up in the new moon. And in your appointed feast time. (laughs) 
That's why he tried to tell y'all that division was for a point of time. A point of time. And at the end, it was going to do what? And that's why when Yahuwah not told you, he know what he said is true. That's why he told you that because he told you it shall not lie. Yeah. Why y'all think Yahuwah not told you he know he said it? And he said the truth. Because the vision told you it was for an appointed time. That's why it was going to be for a memorial because you're going to need to remember this. Now to show you all this happened at the 37th chapter of the, uh, uh, 32nd chapter of the book of uh, Barashit. You know what I will? Some kind of way, I was able to see this stuff. Some kind of way. The only reason I put this up here, this is not now tell to use. You do have it in some instances. Because when you have the S-H-U-A, this means crying. He was told to cry loud. Spell not. And lift up his voice like a trumpet. I'll tell you how this all happened. Let's see what happens, son. 37 chapter of the book of um, Barashit, 37 and 1. Listen. And Yaakov dwelled in the land wherein his father was a stranger. Yes. In the land of Canaan. Mm-hmm. These are the generations of Yaakov. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brother. Yeah. And the lad was with his sons, was with the sons of Bilhah. Come on. And with the sons of Zilpah, uh-huh. his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Come on. Now, Yasharal loved Joseph more than all his children uh-huh. because he was a son of his old age. That's why he loved Yahushua. Loved Yahushua. Come on. And he made him a coat of many colors. Come on, son. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more mm-hmm. than all his brethren, what happened, son? they hated him. And could not speak peacefully unto him. And that's him. how you wind up coming up with it's written in your law. You hated me without a cause. That's why they hated him because the father loved it. He told you that the father loved the son. He showed him what all things that he himself does. Come on. And Joseph dreamed a dream. He dreamed a dream. And he told it his brethren. What did he tell them, son? And they hated him yet the more. For prophesying. You know the book told you I was reading. I had y'all in the 29th chapter of the book of um, Mashali. Where well, there's no vision. People perish. He was called a dreamer before they had prophet on. They would call him a dreamer. Because that's how a prophet come into what they have. They dream. Thank you, sir. Come on. And he said unto them, Here, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. Talk to me, son. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field. Mm-hmm. And lo, my sheaf arose and also stood upright. Come on. And behold, your sheaf stood round about. Yes. And made obvious to my sheaf. Come on, son. And his brethren said to him, Shall thou indeed reign over us, or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? Mm-hmm. And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Come on, son. And he dreamed yet another dream. Talk to him, son. And told it his brethren, uh-huh. and said, Behold, I Look. have dreamed a dream more. Listen to what he dreamed. And behold, the sun and, and the who moon. Else? Hold on, what he saw? The sun. And who and, else, son? And the moon. And what else? And the eleven stars. What happened, son? Made obvious to me. They all bowed down to me. When he was up on the cross, all of them bowed down. That's why you had no light. So it would have covered him with a cry because you had a new moon. That's why we're here. You should have no light. It was already told of what was going to happen. We told him about the sheaves, them being stacked up, him sitting when he was up. He was above all of them. And you know what they wound up putting over his head? Well, it's kind of messed up. But they would have called Moloch Malak of the Yahudim. He would have been king of the Yahudim. He tried to tell him when he was in the field what happened. He said that he saw and the sheep was higher than the other sheep. And he was going to rule over them. And they set him being smart. They decided to put a description over his head and said that he was the Malachi of them. We knew that they had to use Malachi at 19 and 19 of the book of um, Yucanon. They had to use Malak. I proved with the book, Dave. 
If I prove the book, I stop every man's mouth. Every mouth must be stopped. Mm. Now, this is the 19th chapter of the book. Make it 1918 of the book of Yucanon. Um, Listen to the book. Where they crucified him and two other with him, on either side one and Yahusha in the midst. Listen. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. What did it say, son? And the writing was Yahusha of Nazareth. The, no, the, let read, no, read it just like they said it. I want you to read it just like he said it. He and wrote the, a title. And put it on the cross. And what happened, son? And the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Talk to me, son. This title then read many <laughs> of the Yahudim. Men, read many of the Yahudim. Tell them what happened, son. For the place where Yahushua was crucified was what? Nigh to the city. That's why he told him to blow the trumpet in Zion, because where he was, his voice could be heard in Zion. All right. All I do is, all I do is just say the book, say. Yeah. Talk to me, son. That prove out my lot. And it was written in Hebrew. I told you what it was written in. So I don't care about Jesus Christ being up there. I don't read that anyway. It's just like he said when he came down. I don't understand that strange speech. Yeah. If we understood everything they said, why they wrote in Hebrew? They could have just left it in Greek. It was written in what? In Hebrew. And what else, sorry? Greek. And what else? And Latin. Aramaic ain't even now. What are they going to do with this? I can care less about it. It probably did. Just say they had it. We know they had it in it. Just say they had it anyway. I can care less. I can't read that anyway. When it was written, the, the Yahoo Dean could come by and I know what it say. We're just going to put him right back to what Joseph told him. His sheep said higher than the others. And it was in the fields. The place where they had it was the field of blood. A seldom. Well, they're talking about seven, talking about Judas at that point. But he was still crucified in the field in Golgotha. Place of skulls. Representing who? Shamshun. Because he killed him. He said heaps upon heaps. That's why they buried the place. Where they crucified him at was a place that had skulls down. I try to help him out. Y'all got it? So now you'll see what happened when he was up on the two. The sun, the moon, and the stars all gave obvious unto him, which means all of them. Let's see what happened. And that finished that 37th chapter of the book of, uh, let him finish that 37th chapter of the book of Barashit. What verse this in? Verse 9. Verse 9. Let them get it. And we get ready to let y'all go. Oh, when you finish me up, you know I want Matthew 13, 47. Y'all know why I call it. Because it's right. This is Barashit chapter 37, verse 9. Listen. The other one got me Matthew Yahoo, chapter 20, I'm sorry, chapter 13, verse 46. Listen. And he dreamed yet another dream yeah. and told it his brethren mm-hmm. and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. Listen. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obvious to me. What happened, son? And he told it to his father. What happened? And to his brethren. Uh-huh. And his father rebuked him. His father rebuked him. And said unto him. What he told him, son? What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Tell him about it, son. Shall I and thy mother oh, and no, thy brother. Shall me the sun, your mother the moon. And your brother the stars. Indeed, come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the Aritz. They had to come down. That's why we knew it had to be him. See, that's why the book tells in the book of Zach, Zach, Zachariah that they that waited, they knew that it was Yahuwah. Because the sun, the moon, and the stars all had to bow down for him. They all had to come down. The day of the Lord is going to have no light in it. We were told that it's going to be dark, even thick darkness. There's more. There's more. But it's only so much you can endure. I thank the most high that he hadn't left us just dumbfounded and stupid and just run around and eating and make a fool out of ourselves putting on these costumes and coming up even more illiterate. Yeah. Most of these people with their feast day are illiterate. Yeah. They'll teach them something, but they don't have no idea why they got to come to remember this. Yeah. They have no idea why they come to remember it. See, once you get it in order, you watch his behavior. 
you're going to say, that's him. That's him. He's the only one that fit that criteria. 13th chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. Verse 47. Listen to the book. Again, the kingdom of Shamayim is likened to a net mm -hmm. that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. Mm -hmm. So shall it be at the end of the world. Mm -hmm. The Malachi shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just, yeah. and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. Yeah. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. Yahusha saith unto them, Have you what? Understood all these things. Have you understood all these things? Have y'all understood what y'all were taught tonight? Yes, 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 what happened, son? They say unto him, Yea, Allahim. Then said he unto them, Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of Shamayim, every teacher of the Old Testament law, every one of them, what is it like, son? Is like unto a man that is an householder, tell them what happened, son, which bringeth forth out of his treasure some things, what? New and old. I let you be the judge of it. Give the most high hand clap. Praise the most high.